In order for you to interface with your DOS 2.11 program, it will be necessary for you to insert your floppy into disk drive A. Are you ready for some football? The Dallas Cowboys have been ripping through the NFC East, blowing away three division rivals. They're undefeated. But one other team is also 3-0. The unbeaten Philadelphia Eagles are rolling as well, with quarterback Randall Cunningham back on the case. Tonight's showdown with the Cowboys has got him dialed into Dallas. They're that team, that young team that just goes out and just works hard and flies around and gang tackles. If you don't have that, you can hang it up, and they have it now. Throughout his career, he has been one of the most spectacular quarterbacks ever to play the game. The knee is fine now, and Cunningham is wowing him from coast to coast. Seeing other people just enjoying themselves is what my job is. So I guess I can look at myself, or we can look at ourselves as entertainers. Equally entertaining is the Eagles' defense, the best in football. But tonight's game is strictly business. We just want to be a machine that goes out and does what it takes to win and then get off the field. It's the battle of the undefeated, the Cowboys and the Eagles on ABC's Monday Night Football. for some football. Dallas and Philly are coming your way. It's Monday Night Football and it's time to play. The Liberty Bell, a familiar landmark in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and another familiar site, a replica of the bell high atop Veteran Stadium, jammed to the rafters tonight, a noisy partisan Philadelphia Eagles crowd on hand a supercharged air of excitement as tonight two bitter rivals from the NFC's Eastern Division get it on once again. Hello again, everyone. I'm Frank Gifford along with Al Michaels and Dan Deardorff. Happy you're with us for a happening. And that's what a Cowboys-Eagles game has become here in Philadelphia. Both teams come in at 3-0, and and whoever wins tonight is going to take a big step in winning the Eastern Division of the NFC. Philadelphia, of course, without their quarterback last year, Randall Cunningham, went 10-6. They missed the playoffs. And the Cowboys knocked them out in the 15th week of the season. That has fueled the fire on this long-running rivalry. Meanwhile, the Dallas Cowboys returned to the playoffs. They went 11 and 5 and amazing turnaround now only three years after Jimmy Johnson came in he was 1 and 15 that first year they make the playoffs at 11 and 5 a truly great turnaround since that disastrous 89 season Frank the line on their graph has gone straight up and the question a lot of people asked at the beginning of this year was not if the Cowboys would get to the top but when they'll go a long way toward answering that question tonight because they're 3 and 0 they've already beaten Washington and if they can beat Philadelphia at the raucous vet on a Monday night they can beat anybody anywhere and if they win they're going to wake up tomorrow morning favored by a lot of people to go all the way to the Super Bowl. But Dan first things first it's a tough task ahead tonight against a team the Philadelphia Eagles playing about as well as you can play. And you asked the question and I'll ask another one are the Philadelphia Eagles the best team in the National Football League. And you might say well how can you ask that question with them having lost Jerome Brown tragically in the auto accident back in June and plus they lost their all pro tight end Keith Jackson to the Miami Dolphins. Well they've had two additions. One of course Herschel Walker the rejuvenated running back that has really brought back the running game to Philadelphia and of course Randall Cunningham the NFL's most exciting player is back under center. Factor in the best defense in the National Football League are the Eagles the best team in the NFL if they beat the Cowboys here tonight. The answer is yes. It is an absolutely perfect night as Frank stated at the very top it is a happening an electric atmosphere the crowd has been raucous for the last 15 minutes and we are finally ready for the kickoff and the Eagles will send the ball to the Cowboys off the foot of Roger Ruzek who has booted the ball into the end zone for a touchback nine times in 17 kickoffs including eight straight. 
Back deep, 83 is Kelvin Martin, 29 is Kenneth Gant. Alexander Wright, who normally runs kicks back, is out with an injury. Martin ruined them last year in the game here. His punt return was the difference in the game when Dallas came in the next to last week of the season and knocked Philadelphia out of the playoffs. So here we go from the back. The kick sailing to the four-yard line, and this is Martin past the 20 and brought down at the 26. And the Dallas Cowboys begin from there. Troy Aikman. The number one pick out of UCLA by the Cowboys four years ago and now one of the premier quarterbacks in the league. Six touchdowns, two interceptions. Emmett Smith is their key man. Johnston the blocking back. Irvin the great wide out with Harper on the other side. Novacek the pass catching tight end. Two and a Newton, Stepnowski, one of the finest centers in the league. Gisick and Eric Williams and they'll have their hands full tonight. First and ten from the 27 yard line. The fake to Smith. White pursues Aikman who has to throw the ball away and there's a marker down and they may call Aikman for grounding no receiver near the pass yeah I don't think may out yeah, that's it what a disastrous way to start a ball game look at the speed of Reggie White 290 pounds intentional grounding number eight is the spot of the foul. Loss of down. Again, a reminder, folks, if you throw the ball away, regardless of where a receiver is, if you're doing it to avoid being sacked, and I'd have to say that was an avoidance of Reggie White. Mm -hmm. Up front for the Eagles, White, Golick, and Harmon are the tackles. Simmons, the bookending right defensive end, along with White. Joyner, who had that tremendous Monday night game in Houston last year with Evans and Thomas. The cornerbacks, Jenkins and Allen. Allen went to the Pro Bowl last year, and the hard-hitting Waters and Hopkins are the safeties. It is second down and 25, and Smith goes nowhere. As the Eagle defense sends out an immediate message, Mike Golick, number 90, the first to hit him. Front four, a very familiar one, of course, missing the great Jerome Brown, who died back in June. But they are playing an inspired brand of football. They play that way anyway, but they are playing it also because of Jerome Brown. He is a specter that hovers over this team. Eagles, as you saw, 11 straight games not allowing 90 yards rushing, an NFL record. Third down. 25 as Aikman throws and it's picked off at the 35 by John Flutie. He's inside the 20. He's down to the 14. And Andre Waters is in the middle of this one along with Nate Newton. The benches are clearing. Well, it only took a minute and 10 seconds for all of this to happen. Well, all I think back is to what Jimmy Johnson told us yesterday. When we won the game here in December, we didn't have a turnover. If you allow the Eagles, they will go into a frenzy early if you make a mistake. This is a mistake, and the Eagles are in a frenzy. And for the Cowboys, not only have they lost the ball, but Mark Stepnoski has been injured. Their center still out on the field. Another look. And Troy Aikman, who had been told not to take chances with it, throw it away, throw it into the ground, take the penalty, do anything but turn it over, makes the mistake early. Well, Booty played it perfectly. He knew he had Wes Hopkins deep. He was able to fall off underneath. And John Booty knows that he has given his team a lift early. Lots of pride on this Eagle defense, and justifiably so. Last year, number one against the rush, number one against the pass, number one overall. They are exactly the same now after three weeks of the season. And look at this. At least one turnover in 100 of the last 102 regular season games. If you like anything about defensive football, they're fun to watch. There's Booty, a uh, former Jet when Rich Kotai was the offensive coordinator there. 
Several Jets, former Jets, on this Eagles football team. Bud Carson, of course, the defensive coordinator, and Rich was the offensive coordinator with the Jets, and Bud Carson recognized by people in this game today as maybe the premier defensive coordinator around. First down, Eagles at the 14, a minute 10 into the game. Cunningham off the fake, gets pressured, steps up inside the 10, down to the 3. It's going to be first and goal. He's stopped by Tony Tolbert. Here is the Eagle offense. Eight touchdown passes, nary an interception in the first three games for Cunningham. Walker, of course, the former Cowboy and Viking, a new home here with Byers, who does everything. Barnett and Williams emerging as a fine tandem. Pat Beach is the tight end with Keith Jackson having been signed by Miami Heller, Shad Alexander, Floyd, and Anton Davis. The offensive line, which was a sore spot for the Eagles the last couple of years, but they seem to be improving. First down, first and goal. Here's Walker burrowing to the one-yard line. Tremendous second effort there, and the Eagles, in effect, are in a three-tight end situation down here. Keith Byers, their big, talented, versatile back, who can block like a tight end. Here is the defensive front for the Cowboys with Tolbert, Casillas, Maryland, and Charles Haley, the former 49er, to shore him up. They go with a rookie, Robert Jones, out of East Carolina, flanked by Smith and Norton. The secondary, they like to gamble a lot. They're suspect. Holton Brown on the corners. Washington and Horton to the safety. Second down and goal from the one. That's Byers in motion. Walker and Herschel gets punched up. The one yard line Robert Jones and Vincent Smith are there and the one thing the Eagles have had a problem with is running for touchdowns they have not rushed for one since late last season every one of their scores this year have come through the air well one of the things they try to do on that play watch the cross block watch the right guard pull out and try to make a block and get driven all the way back Eric Floyd gets pounded into the backfield when you're on the one yard line, any type of straight ahead blocking makes more sense than combination blocking. Randall, good at the bootleg from this position, giving him an option to run or pass. Third and goal, fires in motion out of a tight set. Here's the roll to the right. Touchdown. Touchdown, Randall, home run, Frank. <laughs> well, he's beginning to get more back into the Randall Cunningham of all. The first couple of games of the season, he was hesitant last week. He proved that he can pull the ball down and run with it. And that is a play that so many teams have watched Randall Cunningham perform. He does get away from the linebacker, makes a good escape from Benson Smith. But again, great athleticism on the part of Randall Cunningham. Roger Ruzek with a point after. Jeff Eagles to hold and Pat Beach to snap it. Tough to start any better than that. Roaring crowd, two undefeated teams, 325 into the game, an interception, and a touchdown to follow for Randall Cunningham and the Eagles take a 7 to nothing lead. What'll it be, fellas? Make it a Bud Light. Light. Sorry, this is the last one. Well, I think I've been. Well, I'll take that one. What do you want to give for it? I'm a two and a ten. Give me ten and a twenty big. Give me twenty now, thirty. Give me thirty now, forty big. Give me forty now, fifty. Give me fifty now, sixty big. Give me sixty now, seventy. Give me seventy now. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Bud, Bud Light, Light, please. Sorry, boys. This is the last one. We'd like to introduce you to the new Nissan Altima GLE. Altima? Huh, so that's what it's called. It comes with a six-speaker CD system, an available leather trim. It has a powerful 150-horsepower engine, and it has more than 40 standard safety features. Wow, would you look at that? The new Altima, the affordable luxury sedan from Nissan. I wonder what they mean by affordable. ABC's NFL Monday Night Football. Brought to you by Nissan. It's time to expect more from a car. 
by Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. By HBO, Michael Jackson, the king of pop. He's not coming to America. He's only coming to HBO. And by Federal Express. For documents, packages, and freight worldwide, our most important package is yours. Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. Calvin Williams, 89, along with Randall Cunningham. The Eagles off to a perfect start. Create the turnover, go in for the touchdown, lead it 7 to nothing. The Eagles this season have already outscored the opposition 83 to 27. Aikman ready to lead the offense back out. Gant and Martin are back to receive for Dallas, and Roger Ruzek to put it in the air. Ruzek, a former Cowboy, his first kick went to the five-yard line, and this one to about the same spot. Martin again. Oh, what a tackle by Keith Sherman, the Philadelphia running back. Even the Eagle running backs are hard hitters. Well, I'll tell you, Dallas has got to come out here now and settle down. And if they get another turnover, this could be lights out very, very early. They just come out, play their offense. They know they got a good football team. Look at this hit. Pete Sherman, the running back. And that's textbook. That is driving called right driving through. through. You got that. I mean, you can just teach that to anybody. That's precision. Mark Stepnowski, who was shaken up on the last Dallas series, is okay and back in and snaps the ball to Aikman, who gives it to Emmett Smith, who can't go anywhere. Oh, the ball came out of there. The ball came loose. Mm -hmm. And Eagle had it. Jerry Mark right. I'm sure he pulled it out before he went down. No, they're going to whistle it dead. Very mm. fortunate, I think, for Dallas. It looked to me like the ball was stripped out. Before Smith hit the ground. Okay, he's got the ball. Now let's watch to the left and see an Eagles going to come in and actually grab the football. There it is right there, Clyde Simmons. A good break for Dallas. That was a fumble. Second and 10 from the 16. Aikman throws a little bit behind Irvin, who makes a great catch, though. He's inside the 40, the 30, and brought down at the 22-yard line by Eric Allen. And that's exactly the type of thing that Michael Irvin can do, the spectacular catch and the great speed. And all of a sudden, the Cowboys are at the Philadelphia 25-yard line. This time, Eric Allen makes the mistake. He's one of the best cornerbacks in the league and he goes for the interception but look at this catch reaching back behind him in the concentration and it's a foot race that he'll lose but not until he gets the first down at the 25 yard line Eric Allen going for that interception the Eagles are always thinking turnover you have to give that credit to I think to Michael Urban I mean that was a poorly thrown pass well behind him Franklin amazing catch 59 yards and Aikman going for seven throws incomplete Novacek the tight end who catches a lot of passes was double covered so Michael Irvin who had a tremendous day against Phoenix in the Cowboys last game two weeks ago he scored two touchdowns in the first quarter and three overall picking up tonight where he left off two weeks ago and if ever a team was desperate to get out of their end of the field and look at the concentration reaching back with that right hand. That's a great effort. That, that sure is. Big, talented receiver. Second and 10. Dallas hit the Philadelphia 25. 10.04 left first quarter. 7 0 Eagles. A little toss to Emmett Smith. And Smith, who led the league in rushing last season, picks up a very hard earned four yards. He was belted, and I mean belted by Izell Jenkins. He was, he was repelled. <laughs> We've got an Eagle player down on the field. And slow in getting That's back Seth up Joyner. Seth Joyner. Boy, he's such an important element to this defense. Trying to shake it off, not going towards the bench. Looking now to the bench. Seth and a man who is a guy who likes Monday night, Frank. Oh, he's, <laughs> wasn't he great in Houston? Al alluded to it a while ago. Incredible night. Three interceptions he had. Or three 
sacks with quarterbacks that night. Third and five, and Aikman hits Irvin, who gets wide open for the think, touchdown. I don't think there's a play. I think did Philadelphia call a timeout before the play is the question. I don't think this was a play. The officials are acting like it never happened. Play does not count. Philadelphia called a timeout prior to the snap. Mm. First charge, timeout. Philadelphia. And it was actually Eric Allen, the man that was covering Irvin, that called the timeout. And, and Michael, that's the only reason you were that wide open. But Eric Allen, the player who's covering Irvin, is actually the guy that signals the timeout. And that's why Michael was so wide open. Here's Allen right here. Look at him. This is Irvin here, but look at him calling for the timeout. So he just lets Irvin go right on by. It got the Cowboy fans excited for a minute, but no deal. We'd like to introduce you to the new Nissan Altima GLE. Altima? Huh, so that's what it's called. It comes with a six-speaker CD system, an available leather trim. It has a powerful 150-horsepower engine, and it has more than 40 standard safety features. Wow, would you look at that? The new Altima, the affordable luxury sedan from Nissan. I wonder what they mean by affordable. The presidential candidate on the left stood for military action in the Persian Gulf, while the candidate on the right agreed with those who opposed it. He says he wouldn't rule out term limits, while he says he's personally opposed to term limits. This candidate was called up for military service, while this one claims he wasn't. One of these candidates is Bill Clinton. Unfortunately, so is the other. There is a simple explanation for why this happened. Amazing, but true. Right now, you can get two tempting Big Mac sandwiches for just $2 at McDonald's. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Of course, they won't be spinning around like this. Right now, you can get two hot egg McMuffin sandwiches at breakfast for just $2. That's two for $2 at McDonald's, but not in this commercial. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Maybe it's over here. It's a capital share. The Broncos meet the skins to the hog's delight. It's an east-west showdown hell Monday night. Pretty wild beginning in Philadelphia where the Eagles are on top seven to nothing. Rich Kotite now in his second season with the Eagles took over when Buddy Ryan was fired. Jimmy Johnson of course only the second coach in the history of the Cowboys after the great Landry run. Jerry Jones bought the team Johnson in his fourth year. After the timeout it is third and five at the 20 yard line as Aikman retreats. Picks up the first down. Novacek makes the catch. He's out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. Wes Hopkins and Izell Jenkins converge on the tackle. It's going to be first and goal. And Novacek was working on Seth Joyner, guys, and I don't think Joyner can cover him. Seth Joyner is going to have to come out of the game. I mean, he should take himself out because he didn't look like he was able to stay anywhere near Jay Novacek. And Novacek is not your ordinary tight end. You can put him out, play him as a wide receiver, and we know that. That Joyner is playing with a bad leg, but Novacek has got great speed, great quickness, and it's hard to cover him with a healthy linebacker. Well, it's a gallant effort by Joyner. I'm not sure if he can pull it off. First and goal. Aikman might have had that one tipped, looking for Novacek at the six, and it's second down and goal with 8.46 remaining in the opening quarter. Novacek signed late. Took him a while to get up to speed. He's caught nine balls in the first three games and is a very big part of their offense, much as Keith Jackson was when he played with Philadelphia. The Philly offense will now have to change with Pat Beach taking over the Jackson role. Second down. Goal. Joyner still in. I wonder if Bud Carson is in some sort of a coverage where he's giving Joyner help. Here is Smith. And a nice tackle is made at the nine yard line. Creating third and goal. That's William Thomas who got a hold of him and didn't let go. Third and goal as you look at Bud Carson, the longtime assistant with several championship teams, then the head coach at Cleveland, and now the defensive coordinator here. I think this guy knew coming here, Emmett Smith, that 
Yards were going to be hard. They're hard for everybody that plays the green and white. Well, 45, 44 yards in the first game a year ago, and then 75 in the game the Cowboys won here in December. Third down and goal from the seven. That's Kelvin Martin in motion. Four-man rush, Aikman throws, catch made by Martin, and he gets in for the touchdown. Izell Jenkins almost had him at the one. Martin takes it in. So what a bizarre drive for Dallas. The fumble that wasn't a fumble, the great catch by Irvin, the touchdown that wasn't a touchdown, and then finally they get in. Kelvin Martin and Troy Aikman, they were right in sync on this one. Aikman picks up the single coverage, Izell Jenkins, and moving back into the ball is Martin, spins to the end zone. Superb effort to get in. And talk about being all alone. Izell Jenkins had no help. The nearest eagle was a good five yards away. And Aikman <laughs> read the defense. You want, you want to play cornerback in this league? That ought to make you think twice about it. Lynn Elliott boots it through, and with 7.55 to go in the first quarter in Philly, it's 7-7. up my phone. Carrie here. You're dead, Carrie. That package you promised never got here. This isn't Mr. Carrie. This is his secretary. Please hold. <clears throat> Federal Express, I need to check on a package fast. Keep holding, please. I hear Mr. Carrie down the hall. Your package Only Federal Express can confirm delivery in seconds. Other companies can take days. That package was delivered at 9.07, signed for by Mr. Hanson. Oh, sir. That's okay. Federal Express, our most important package is yours. To those of you who have a certain image of minivans, Nissan introduces the Quest. It has a V6 engine, so it's more powerful, and front-wheel drive, so it's more nimble and agile than you'd expect a minivan to be. After all, just because you have kids doesn't mean you have to drive a bus. The new seven-passenger Nissan Quest. It's time to expect more from a minivan. If you haven't tried Mr. Cooper yet, just a little taste. Check it out when his ex-girlfriend drops in. She has no effect on the kid. <laughs> Hang in with Mr. Cooper tomorrow. 7-7. Seven, seven. With 7.55 to go in the first quarter. As you look at Izell Jenkins beaten by Martin on the last play. The bouncing kick off the foot of Elliott. Bounces through the end zone. Vicek Ahema hands it to Jerry Markwright, and the Eagles will begin their next drive at the 20-yard line. Kelvin Martin on the right scoring his first touchdown since November 12th of 1989. As you look into Veterans Stadium from high above, the Goodyear blimp spirit of Akron providing the Phoenics. Take a look at the numbers on the Dallas scoring drive. Engineered by Aikman. When we say Martin hasn't scored a touchdown since 89, that's a touchdown on a pass. He's scored a couple on punt returns, including one on our opening Monday night game this year. And one here last year against the Eagles that broke their back. Mm -hmm. to 85 kill yards. Here's Cunningham off the fake on first down from the 20. Hitting Barnett, who escapes a tackle. And Barnett with a big game into Dallas territory. Well, this... <laughs> I don't think we've got many people leaving town or leaving their televisions while this is getting underway. What a start to this ballgame. That's just a straight zone defense by Dallas. They drop back in their zones and Barnett coming all the way across and underneath the top part of the zone behind the lower layer layer. And have you ever seen a better thrown football than that? He just flicked it out there. When you talk to Luke Carpenter, the receivers coach, no one throws the ball he's ever seen like Randall Cunningham. 
A lot of revs, as he says, but a very soft ball. Barnett, their leading receiver, that's his 18th grab of the year. It's a 34 yard gain. There's the fake to Walker. Cunningham steps up and then gets hit from behind and fumbles, and he's been prone to doing that a lot this season. Tony Tolbert is right there, but Randall is able to get it back. It came right to him like it was on a string. It hit the ground and one hopped right back into Randall's arms. Tolbert is going to chase him from behind. But immediately it's Charles Haley who flushes Randall. And there's the ball stripped loose by Tolbert. Good hustle by a lot of members of the Cowboy front four. And a fortunate bounce for Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Second and seven at the 43. Here's Keith Byers. And the versatile one is stopped after a minimal gain at the 43 yard line, setting up a third and six. Vincent Smith makes the tackle. Well, down the road we go next Monday night to our nation's capital with the Washington Redskins, who were shocked by Phoenix yesterday, and our two and two take on the Broncos, led by who else? John Elway, who does it again, leading them. To a one point win over Kansas City at mile high. Or oh, Marty Stratton on oh. Kansas City will never ever want to go to Denver again. I don't think he's considering a condo purchase overlooking no. Mile High Stadium. <laughs> Take your Rockets, and you know what? Third and six at the 43. Coming in. Good protection. And then it is picked off at the 25 yard line by Isaac Holt, who brings it back to the 27 on a pass intended for Floyd Dixon. Uh, the gambler comes up with one, Isaac Holt. He, he just anticipates the break by Dixon. Frank, and it, he makes it look easy stepping right in front. Good move by Holt. Gambling that Dixon was not going to take it deep because no one was behind him. Was, was that a soft corner by Dixon, Frank? Mm -hmm. I mean, that was not a sharp yeah. break. And that when, when a defensive back can that easily step in front of a receiver, you have to wonder if the receiver didn't run a soft pattern, allowing he should have been sharper coming back, making that break, coming back to his quarterback. Particularly against Holt because he'll play you that way. That's the first interception thrown by Cunningham this year. It is Holt's first interception of the season, and only the second by the Cowboys. 5.40 to go in the opening quarter. The game tied at seven, and Emmett Smith on a sweep. Bounces for three. Turning no gain into a three yard pickup up to the 30 yard line. Mike Golick makes the stop. Emmett Smith in his third year out of Florida. Golick, the, uh, the brother of the Raiders, Bob Golick. What did Bob say to us last week when we saw the Raiders? How come my brother wears M. Golick on the back of his shirt? Are they going to confuse him with any of the other Golicks on the <laughs> Eagle team? I just wonder how could two brothers look so dissimilar? <laughs> One tall and angular, the other one. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. <laughs> Second and seven from the 30 yard line. Aikman to know the tackle loses the football. It's incomplete. No catch, no fumble. Third down. Andre Waters with the coverage. Andre Waters, who really got things started here uh, last week. Uh, Couple tremendous hits against the Broncos. It seemed to set the tone for what was to follow. And what followed was, was one of the worst drubbings I have ever seen. No opposing runner has gained more than 28 mm -hmm. big ones. <laughs> and Cowboys right now in a situation that you do, do not want to get into against the Eagles. They will pin their ears back and come. Third and seven, and here they come, and there goes Aikman. Eagles think they dislodged it. Mark Wright says no. He's rolling at a forward pass. Mm -hmm. That was just the entire offensive line collapsing back into Aikman. Enough coverage downfield that Aikman could not release the ball on that five count that he likes to release it on. And they just collapsed into their quarterback. But he had his hand coming forward and it's simply an incomplete pass. No sack. And fourth down. Look at the surge here. Simmons on your right. Reggie White coming in from the left side. And White doing the most damage. Almost looked like Aikman didn't let that ball go mm -hmm. intentionally. Mm -hmm. Good pick up here for the Eagles by Sikahama. Oh, he's a dangerous one. 
Former Cardinal and Packer, plan B pickup to run back kicks. Mike Saxon to punt, he's one of the best in the league. And the whistle blows with 440. And it's going to be a delay of the game call against the Cowboys to the displeasure of Johnson. Let's get the call from Mark Bright. Delay of game, offense, five yard penalty, fourth down. That's a special teams there. You've got to be ready to get in there. And the Cowboys slow getting in there to get set. Do you think it's a coincidence that the NFL assigns a referee like Jerry Mark Bright to yeah. something as uh, as hot as uh -huh. this game between the Eagles and the Cowboys? Uh, one of the very best and has been for a long time. Saxon's punt. Fair catch called for and made by Sikahema at the 40 yard line. 35 yard boot. Eagles get it back. 433 to go in the first quarter. The game time 7 7. It's now it's time for our regular feature on what's new in the world of sports science and technology. A look behind the scenes as sports and science converge, brought to you by ATT. Matt Biondi's multiple Olympic gold medals are due in part to his length of stroke. At the Seoul Olympics, the International Olympic Committee's Medical Commission videotaped every race and swimmer to analyze stroke length and frequency. Biondi, who is 6'7", benefits from his naturally long stroke. Many factors lead to victory, but especially in the short races, the study concluded that length of stroke is the most important. Dave, I sent you a fax. Can you pick it up somewhere? Somewhere. Do you have a fax machine? Yeah, back here. With your AT&T card, faxes find you. An electronic mailbox holds them so you can pick them up whenever you're ready. It's a boy. It's a boy. I'm gonna have a son. And a girl, too. It's twins! AT&T fax mailbox. Free membership with your AT&T card. When you drive by the statues and memorials, you may start to cry. And there's a white house in this city, and we always get to choose the person who lives in it. There are over four million miles of roads in Alamo territory, all across America, and nationwide. Only Alamo gives you all those miles for free, including the 1,100 miles in a city called Washington, in a district called Columbia, in a country we call ours. Four thirty-three left in the first quarter at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. There's been sort of a Super Bowl buildup, and why not? Each team had a week off. It's just like the Super Bowl. Everybody had two weeks to prepare for this one. What a game for Dallas, though. If they could win tonight, they would have beaten Washington, the Giants, and Phoenix, mm -hmm. and Philadelphia. Everyone in their division. Clean sweep. And of course, they have to play them all again, including at Washington. Pulling for seven. Now to the 47 yard line. Charles Haley, the former 49er, picked up by Dallas prior to the start of the season, makes the stop. And what a key man he will be as this season progresses for the Cowboys. Well, I mean, it's it's just an indication of of the commitment that Jerry Jones and, and Jimmy Johnson have to winning. I mean, here's Charles Haley who, who was unhappy in San Francisco, let everybody know it. And yet, since he's been in Dallas, has just been perfect. Jimmy Johnson said it could not have worked out any better for him. Second and three at the 47. Good protection. Catch made by Barnett. And he fights for a first down and more. And Barnett then loses the football. Was it down? And the umpire is saying yes. Barnett likes to do that. He, he does that in the end zone a lot. That's part of his touchdown move here. He's stretching for extra yardage. He'll do it for a first down also, and that's what he thought he was doing there, I think, Al, and he fortunately was down, fortunately for the Eagles, and the official right on top of it. It was a great effort to pull out of the grasp of Larry Brown, but he's carrying that ball like a loaf of bread. Now, look at him stretch it out. He is down when he releases the football. You can't count how many risks he took carrying the ball. There he's down. He has the ball. But, you know, he's just carrying it in the right hand, one-handed, the left hand, one-handed. And that, that'll come out sooner or later. First down at the 43-yard line. Herschel Walker again. To the 39-yard line. Robert Jones and James Washington make the stop. And 
There's no question about Herschel Walker. He has made both teams in this game tonight better. He certainly has. He made Dallas better by leaving, and he's made Philadelphia better by arriving. He could be <laughs> one of the few players that puts two different teams into a Super Bowl. Yep. He it hits Washington look like he's running that hard. As never James has. Washington. Washington uh, hits Walker, and Walker ends up spotting the football three yards farther down the field. He's incredibly strong. Second down and six. Fake to Walker. Cunningham, as he does so well, scrambles for another first down and then gets knocked down by the rookie, or knocked down by Ken Norton. Norton was trying to pull up. The side judge is right there, and there is no flag. Well, that's, uh, I don't believe. Well, that's the pressure Randall can put on you, though. The cornerback, Larry Brown, didn't know whether to come up and make the play, go back with the receiver. He went with the receiver, and Cunningham turned it into a nifty pickup. Well, the crowd is booing, and I think justifiably so. Norton hits Cunningham. 13 well and three quarters. <laughs> Jerry well, didn't know he had his mic on. I mean, I, I mean, that is a penalty. I don't think yeah. there's any doubt about that. Ken Norton makes contact with Randall Cunningham out of bounds. Do they call this or not? I mean, we, I mean, but look, I know he's trying to pull up. I think he even tried to hold him up. Well, yeah. why did he even yeah. touch him? I mean, is there really a need to even yeah. make contact with the guy? Well, we were also looking at it in slow motion. There it is. I mean, nobody's going to call that a violent blow. Mm -hmm. He's trying to keep him up. Well, from that angle. But a great play by Cunningham as Larry Brown was tied up with Barnett. Brown didn't know whether to come up or stay with Barnett. He stayed with Barnett. Cunningham pulled it down. It's a 12-yard run and a 14-yard penalty, which was half the distance. And this play is dead before its inception. Tony Casillas grabbing Cunningham, but the whistle was blown before the snap. Full start, number 73, offense. Prior to the snap, first down. Ron Heller over the left side. Got his hands full tonight. He'll be dealing primarily with Charles Haley, even though they do move Haley over to the left side occasionally. But Haley with the incredible quickness. Not all that big, and he's a man you like to run at it. Go directly at him. You can handle him pretty good. And we've seen the Eagles do it a couple times tonight. First and 15 at the 18. A minute 56 to go in the quarter. Game tied at seven. Cunningham lofting it into the end zone, and it is incomplete. Intended for the tight end Pat Beach, covered by Larry Brown, the corner. Beach, a long time Colt, in fact, so long time that he played with the Colts in Baltimore. As Heller has a couple of words with the umpire over the last call, and and for Beach, who was picked up by the Jets and waved by them, it's been a dream come true to wind up not only with the Eagles, but then have Keith Jackson sign with Miami. Over in the left side again, Haley, Charles Haley, with the incredible quickness, and obviously putting two people on, and Herschel Walker helping out Heller. Oh. <laughs> Well, they got an extra shot in there. Yeah, you could say so. On second and 15, going to the corner of the end zone again, oh. and that's incomplete. And no flag as Brown gets wrapped up with Calvin Williams. Well, Larry Brown got tied up with Pat Beach on the last play into the end zone. Didn't get a flag because the ball was way over Beach's head and nowhere near to catchable. Let's take a look at this one from behind. You see Williams making his break to the outside. Oh, boy. That's very close to drawing a flag. Yeah, I wish we could see his left hand and, and how much pressure he put on Williams. Well, the initial shot was after the five yards where you're allowed to make contact with the receiver. That could have drawn a flag. Here it is again. Very close. You're right. That is close. Third and 15, Barnett in motion. They had Byers flank to the left, and Cunningham lost one to the right, and that's incomplete, and Williams looks for another flag and doesn't get it. Just good, strong coverage again. Kenneth Gant that time. And fourth down. 
Well, there is major contact. <laughs> Gant's a former cornerback, and he played that like a cornerback. He comes in on the nickel, and and it gives you good man-for-man -man coverage when you have to isolate him. I and mean, that was a good play. Uh, again, a kind of play that is very close to drawing the flag, but mm -hmm. both corners get away with it. Well, I think we've certainly seen a new indication on how things are going to be called for the balance of the game, which is fine as long as it remains consistent mm -hmm. from now until the end of the game. 36-yard attempt. Ball spotted at the 26, and we've got a whistle before that play develops. I think we had contact on the line of scrimmage. Or else some sort of a false start that stops it early. No one will ever say that Jimmy Johnson doesn't get into a football game. He was like a high school kid out there before this game. Loving the feeling of it. They have a delay of game. Five yard penalty against the offense. Fourth down. Well that's going to make it a 41 yard field goal attempt now. Rizak has been so hot this year he has not missed. He's five of five. Mm -hmm. Turkey jerky first quarter. Neither team wants the other to really get into a rhythm. But plenty of excitement to this point. 7-7. Well, seven, seven. It looked like Dallas was in big trouble until Michael Irvin reached behind him and caught that football and took Dallas from deep in their own territory. 41-yard attempt by Ruzek, who hasn't missed one this season and still hasn't. With 134 remaining in the opening quarter, it is now 10-7. And it will go into the books officially as a 40 yarder. Ball spotted just inside the 41 for Ruzek. So the Cowboys will get the ball back, and we can tell you college football will be coming your way this Saturday. And another beauty for you Miami coming off that victory over Florida State by three, going to what they call Happy Valley. And it's been pretty happy for the Nittany Lions of Penn State because they're 5 0 and 7th ranked in the country this Saturday at noon Eastern time. And then the second half of the doubleheader featuring regional action, those games in your regions. And don't forget that uh, calling your local cable operator will give you access to those games if you have an interest in one of those that's not being shown in your area. The Michigan Michigan State game a distinct possibility <laughs> at the Deardorff household. I have a feeling you'll be in your favorite chair all curl up in yeah. front of the TV and you're having called your local cable I'm sure. <laughs> my shawl and my uh -huh. hot cocoa. And yes. Dog and slippers. Shawls and hot cocoa have no place with this game tonight. Uh -huh. This has been to this point exactly what we thought it would be. Very hard hitting aggressive play on both sides of the football. And a team two teams full of playmakers full of big play kind of people. Martin and Gant are back to receive the kick from Ruzek again Alexander Wright who is their kickoff returner is hurt and inactive tonight. And this is Martin who scored the touchdown on that pass reception. Kelvin out past the 20. Look out. Martin past the 40. Runs into his own man Bates and that enables Otis Smith to come from behind and make the tackle. Oh, Ruzak made a superb play. He saved the touchdown. He didn't make the tackle but he was able to slow Martin down by playing off the block. Otherwise Martin is in the end zone. Yeah Bates hits Ruzek. And then Martin hits Bates and that is exactly the scenario. It's tough to come all the way across the field. There is Bates. Watch him hit Ruzek right there. And then Martin collides with Bates and that break of stride that finishes it off. Billy Bates is just doing his job and ends up really foiling a Dallas touchdown. First down from the 39 yard line. Here's Emmett Smith going nowhere running right into the shirt of Clyde Simmons. Going against this bunch, 39 yards is a long way from the end zone. Against some teams, it's all right. Against these guys. But you know, Dan, you've got to go with the run. You've got to keep trying to run the football to keep that defense honest. They're tough enough when they're playing pass. You've got to make them at least think run. I wholeheartedly agree. Well, Dallas having a very difficult time establishing the running game. Smith, six carries. 
10 yards. But they can't stop. Right. Second and 10. Novacek in motion. Smith stays in the block. Aikman throws over the middle. Hicks Novacek. First down at the 22-yard line. Wes Hopkins makes the tackle. And again, Joyner was in there involved in the coverage. And I, I why, let's see if we can see Seth Joyner's footwork. He looks to me like he's having trouble planting his foot and moving laterally. All right, let's watch it. Novacek's going to move outside and then inside. Do you see the way Joyner pulled that right foot back behind him? He didn't appear to me to be able to plant on that foot and pivot back to the inside. But again, Novacek is like an outside receiver. They even used him as a slot man in motion up on that play. That is the end of the first quarter. The Eagles lead the Cowboys 10-7. We'll return with Monday Night Football after this message and a word from our ABC station. To those of you who have a certain image of minivans, Nissan introduces the Quest. It has a V6 engine, so it's more powerful, and front-wheel drive. So it's more nimble and agile than you'd expect a minivan to be. After all, just because you have kids doesn't mean you have to drive a bus. The new seven-passenger Nissan Quest. It's time to expect more from a minivan. A terrorist controls the world's most dangerous weapons. Happy trails. But there's one weapon he doesn't control. Steven Seagal. Here come the good guys. Tommy Lee Jones, Under Siege, Rated R. Starts Friday, October 9th at a theater near you. The tingle feels like it's taking away the dandruff. That's me taking the Denerac shampoo test. I love that tingle. It convinced me to switch from head and shoulders to Denerax. Denerax with conditioners. The dandruff shampoo you can feel working. I'm a Denerax guy now. This is ABC. Bert sells balloons. Bob sells balloons. Bert sells wacky gifts. Bob sells wacky gifts. Bert delivers. Bob delivers. So if Bob's got everything Bert's got, why is Bert busy and Bob not? Now, do you suppose Bert's got a big color ad in the book 9 out of 10 people use? The genuine Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. 9 out of 10 use it. No other book can match it. A ballot might be coming. A live post-game report from the vet tonight on Action News. The brain trust of the Dallas Cowboys. That is North Turner, the offensive coordinator on the left, and Dave Wanstead, the assistant head coach and defensive coordinator on the right. And I think they have picked up on the fact that Seth Joyner is hurting. We start the second quarter. Eagles up by three. First and ten from the 22-yard line. Emmett Smith, on his biggest run of the night, picks up a first down. He's run out of bounds by Wes Hopkins inside the ten. It'll be first and goal at the seven. Boy, good block there by Alvin Harper as we look at the first quarter numbers. Each team with a turnover, but you see that Dallas gave up seven points on their turnover. Time of possession, well, how about two seconds difference? Yeah, huh? yeah but uh, in the past games, Philadelphia has been dominating in time of possession, and as you see there, they're right even with them. And as hard as this game has been played, and so many of the good things seems to have happened for the Eagles, look who's getting ready to put some points on the board, the Dallas Cowboys. They have a first and goal. The ball is spotted at the eight-yard line. Big hole for Smith. And then a hard tackle made at the four-yard line as he runs into the brace of safeties, Waters and Hopkins. Second and goal. Andre and, and I have had our disagreements in the past, but I don't think anybody can argue with the fact that Andre Waters, the last couple of years in the National Football League, has cleaned it up. This is a guy who always hit as hard as anybody in the game. And the last couple of years in the NFL has been playing strong safety as good and as hard and as clean as anybody. Prior to that, he had drawn a couple of heavy fines. Second and goal from the four. Emmett Smith again for a gain of a yard and a half as Simmons wrapped him up at the four. And then Smith was able to keep the legs moving. And the ride Clyde for another yard and a half. It'll be third down and goal. And the Cowboys looking at a rarity, a possible score on the ground against Philadelphia. They don't give up many. It's 
like Clyde Simmons has his right hand on the face mask of Emmett Smith. But obscured. A lot of production for a ninth round draft choice, Clyde Simmons. Aikman takes a timeout as the Cowboys prepare for a third and goal. Is that their second timeout they've had to take already? Just their first. Yeah, good guess. <laughs> Half right. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> Miami meets Penn State in a high noon showdown Saturday on ABC Sports. A defiant dreamer. But we'll not be told what to be afraid of or what not to be afraid of. A timeless discovery. We should kill them. A courageous battle. Seems to me the man is preparing his own cross. From the director of Alien, Blade Runner, and Thelma and Louise, Gerard Depardieu, Amanda Sante, and Sigourney Weaver, a Ridley Scott film, 1492, Conquest of Paradise, rated PG-13, starts Friday, October 9th at theaters everywhere. Ford trucks, the best, never rest. You're right. Ford does build in toughness, but we also build in things that help you drive safely. Four-wheel anti-lock brakes are standard on Explorer and Bronco. Built-in child seats are available on Aerostar, and both Aerostar and Club Wagon offer driver-side airbags. Ford builds tough trucks, but we also build long-term relationships. The best-built, best-selling American trucks are built Ford Tough. Something to drink, sir? Uh, yeah, make it a Bud Light. Sorry, we just ran out. Oh. Um, excuse me. Bud Light? Try Flight 261 out of L.A. Oh, oh, thank you. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Uh, do you have a Bud Light? Yes. Welcome aboard, sir. Great. Where are we going? 13-14 left in the first half. Al Michaels, Frank Gifford, Dan Deardorff, Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. Eagles lead by three. As the Cowboys come up to the line of scrimmage, which is the two-yard line, the Eagles have allowed one rushing touchdown in the last ten games dating back to last year. Third and goal after the timeout. Aikman to throw. Aikman scrambling and looking and throwing, and it's picked off in the end zone by Wes Hopkins. I think they're going to rule it at the one at the one-yard line. It was deflected in the end zone and then picked off by Hopkins on a third and goal. Hopkins in trying to concentrate, bobbled the ball. He was out over the goal line, and they're going to mark it there. He tried to get back. I think William Thomas was the guy who gets a right hand on the ball. He's hustling all the way across. All right, a couple key things happen here. First of all, number 56, Byron Evans, forces the throw. There's Thomas with the right hand. Flips it up in the air where Wes Hopkins makes it, and Hopkins in no, man land, no man's land straddling the goal line. But again, Aikman trying to force something to happen. He could have pulled that down. He wouldn't have scored, but they would have got three points out of it. Mm -hmm. Three people, though. Byron Evans hustling to force the throw. Thomas with the good right hand, and Hopkins with the alertness. Eagles looking for breathing space. This is Keith Sherman. Out to the four-yard line to give them some breathing room. It'll be second and seven. ABC's Monday Night Football is being brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? You make a valid point, though, Frank, about you don't do anything that compromises your team's chances of putting points on the board. Second down and seven. Sherman takes it after the seven. And the Cowboys felt the ball had come loose. James Washington arguing it should have been a fumble. And the head linesman saying, no, sir. Third down. The officials ruling forward progress had halted to the point where they rule it dead. Again, a reminder, these two teams have had 15 days to get ready for this. Co both coaches have talked about the difficulty of keeping their respective teams in check, trying to not leave this game on the practice field. Third and four from the seven. Interesting offensive set inside your 10-yard line. Still four wide receivers. Out of the gun, Herschel Walker makes the catch, fights for the first.
touchdown. Godfrey Miles takes him down at the 11-yard line. And it should be enough. It is a first down for Philadelphia. Marshall Walker, who I think caught over 70 passes as a Dallas Cowboy, as both a wide receiver and working out of the backfield, makes a big play for the Eagles. And again, it shows the trust that Rich Kotite has in his quarterback, Randall Cunningham, not to jeopardize anything but the turnover down deep in your own territory. They go with the five, four wide receivers and they get the first. From the 12, Walker fights to the 20 yard line. James Washington making the tackle along with Robert Jones as each tries to wrestle the ball away as well. If you're going to get the ball away from Herschel Walker, you're going to have to bring a jackhammer. Look at him cover up the ball, knowing where he is on the field. Watch him keep two hands on the ball. He goes through, and the minute he senses any trouble, he covers that thing up, and they're trying to get it. They're trying to get it. Every ball carrier better really seriously consider keeping both hands on the football from start to finish. Second and a yard and a half, and Walker Close to the 22, close to a first down, popped by Robert Jones, the rookie out of East Carolina, the only rookie in the Dallas starting lineup. No stranger to seeing a number 55 play middle linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys. That was the great Leroy Jordan's number. 14 years, multiple Pro Bowls. I believe Robert Jones and Leroy Jordan are right next to each other in the directory of Dallas Cowboy players. Alphabetically, they are side by side. Jones preceding Jordan. Mm -hmm. First down. Rich Kotite, when they picked up Herschel Walker, they let him do what he wanted to do all the time he was in Minnesota. He lines up about seven yards deep. They zone block basically everything. They don't take him wide to the outside. He's not a cutback runner at all. He's a power runner. When he sees a gap, he hits it. And he sees it very well from about six or seven yards deep. There he is from seven yards from the 22 yard line. Cunningham <laughs> escaping. <laughs> turns a loss into a short game tackled by Vincent Smith at the 24 yard line. Russell Maryland hit him first. Vintage Randall. It's fun to watch, isn't it? Yeah. He breaks away from that one tackle. The Cowboys were in a rare man for man defense. He would have been long gone. He reads that man for man too, and he pulls the ball down right there. It's, it's just remarkable. And made all the more so when you meet and talk to Randall Cunningham when he's in street clothes. So frail, so thin. You just wonder how he survived. Second and eight. Walker for about three. Stopped by Robert Jones with 8.55 remaining in the first half, and the Eagles on top, 10-7. Randall looking over, which Kotite calls the offense he plays for the Eagles. There's Zeke Ratkowski, the quarterback's coach, who is just in awe of Randall Cunningham's ability to throw the football. Forget about the athleticism, because he's never seen anyone like it. He has the strength. He can fire the ball to flat foot at 30 or 40 yards. And just with his arm. Third and five at the 27 yard line. Play fake, and then the toss is out of reach for Keith Myers. Incomplete and fourth down. Myers drafted as a running back. He's been everything H back, tight end, you name it. They split him. He has been their most versatile player for the last three or four seasons. And even though that drive ended on a, on a bad play, an incomplete pass, a successful drive for the Eagles. They started at their one yard line after the interception. Jeff Fiegels with the kick and a fair catch is called for at the 20 yard line by Kelvin Martin. That See was a beauty. They gained 69 yards in field position. 53 very, very on that punt. Yeah. As times changed, so did the Ford full-size pickup. But it was always one tough truck, and boy, could it haul a load. Today, it's still tough. 
but it's designed to ride better. It has more style, more comfort. And boy, can it haul a load. Times change, trucks change, but Ford Tough never does. The best never is. Only Delta gives you more flights from over here to over there. Only Delta flies you non-stop to more cities from over here to over there. In fact, only Delta flies you non-stop to more cities in Europe than all these airlines combined. Delta, we love to fly and it shows the world over. Guess what famous motor oil is changing its bottle from white to green? Here's a little hint. Quaker State, Quaker State, Quaker State, Quaker State. Quaker State is one tough motor. Quaker State, same tough oil, new green bottle. Introducing the Goodyear Buy 3, Get the 4th Tire Free Sale. Buy three Goodyear all-season radials, and you'll get the 4th Tire free. Come on in, before they all disappear. Two teams, two crowns, one goal. The Broncos beat the Redskins next week on ABC's Monday Night Football. From the Goodyear Blimp Spirit of Akron, a look at downtown Philadelphia. One Liberty Place in the center of your picture there on a sparkling early autumn evening. Temperature around 53 degrees. Raucous crowd. Eagles lead by three. First down Dallas from the 21-yard line. Emmett Smith. Out to the 25-yard line, tackled by Joyner, It'll, and Golick as well. It'll be second down and six. Emmett Smith, who's had tremendous success against the rest of the league, two games last year against the Eagles, was limited to 3.1 yards per carry. And tonight, 35 yards, 10 carries. The league average is normally around 4.0. We got half of that 35 on one carry. That league average isn't against the Eagles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second on average. Second and six from the 25 yard line. Aikman drops it off for Smith. And Emmett Smith goes for a first down as he's run out of bounds by Andre Waters. He is not a big part of the passing game because he carries the ball so much. But for Emmett Smith, that is uh, nonetheless his 12th reception of the season. And it comes in at an opportune time as it nets a first down for the Cowboys. Eagles trying to get double coverage on the outside receivers of the Dallas Cowboys. And often that's going to turn loose the running back. And that was the case at that point. As the linebackers were underneath and they were doubling the outside. First and ten from the 32. Pump fake. Now going deep for Harper. And Harper can at the 25-yard line. Izell Jenkins with the coverage. Harper, the receiver from Tennessee, also a world-class high jumper. They use him in situations where they get down into fade patterns at the goal line. This time he goes up high but doesn't come down with it. Had a chance to handle this ball. It would have been tough. And uh Good play by Jenkins to disturb the concentration. Well, Jenkins actually pulls down Harper's arm after he makes yeah. contact with the football. It looked like Harper was going to catch that. And as he went to pull it in, Izell Jenkins actually pulls his forearms down. Nicely done. Second and 10 from the 32. Throwing underneath to Novacek. And Novacek tackled at the 41, short of the first down. Jenkins and Joyner. Stop him a yard short of the first down. You just can't play Novacek like most tight ends in the league. You have to play him in a passing situation, certainly with a defensive back. Linebackers are not going to stay with him. That time, Seth Joyner, who is playing hurt, no question tonight, had dropped off. And now Joyner's going to get a little breather. Rose comes in at the 41. Third and one, Dallas. Smith, first down. Emmett to the 44-yard line as the clock ticks down to six minutes remaining in the first half. And the Eagles on top, 
10 to 7. I just can't help but watch the Dallas Cowboys on offense, on defense, their special teams alertness, and, and every time it seems they handle the ball being so close to breaking a big play. All I can think about is 1 and 15. What, three years ago? Yeah. I, 1 and 15. And now look at this ball club. Young and emerging and and on the way up and, and obviously a ways to go. This team gets better every week. From the 44, Aikman flushed out, throws on the run, and that's incomplete. And there is no flag intended for Michael Irvin, covered by Hopkins. White putting the pressure on. Well, we've illustrated, in a sense, how far the Cowboys have come with Jimmy Johnson. There he was in 89. <laughs> one win was against Washington. Nice right? sound effect. A little bit better in 1990. And then last season, <laughs> one of only three teams in league history to improve by four or more wins in two consecutive seasons. The Vikings did it in the late 60s. And the 49ers did it in Bill Walsh's first three seasons. That's the animation that the guys on Sunday can only dream about. <laughs> Is Kelvin Martin for a first down as he takes it into Eagle territory and tackled at the 45-yard line. That, that unlimited Monday night budget. We can... <laughs> they may have nightmares about it. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson arguing that Andre Waters came up yep. and speared Martin when he was on the ground. Well, when you have a reputation that Andre Waters has had over the years, but I, you're going to get attention like this. But and I he think it very well have got a flag. Uh, the other point you have to he looked like he was in the air when Martin was just hitting it. Close. From the 45, Emmett Smith. Stopped by Mike Golick after a minimal gain. 420 remaining in the first half. And another intimidating pop by Waters. Second and nine at the 44 yard line. Waters and Hopkins, the two safeties, Andre. In his ninth year, Hopkins also in his ninth year. In terms of service, Hopkins, the longest serving of the current Eagles. Here since 83. From the 44 yard line on second and nine. And Aikman gets tackled at just about the line of scrimmage. Harmon and Simmons converge for the tackle. It'll be third and long. I think uh, Harmon uh, decleated Troy Aikman. Reached out a hand and, uh, and snagged his leg. Andy Harmon from Kent State. Again, a, a promising looking kid for a sixth round draft choice. They're getting a lot of work out of him all yeah. inning. Along the interior part of that line, he can also play on the outside. Well, everybody in the middle is getting a lot more work because of Jerome Brown. There you see Harmon gets in. Now he's got Aikman's shoe there. Now are we going to see some sportsmanship? <laughs> no. <laughs> 23. Go get it yourself. <laughs> 23. Mark Wright uh, setting the uh, 23 seconds on the play, play clock. clock. <laughs> Andy Harmon saying, hey, if you're going to run away from me and make me work to catch you, go get your own shoe. Thir and nine at the 44-yard line. Pressure throws underneath for Smith. He loses the football as Joyner made the tackle. Loose on the far side. Who's got the football? I think there's going to be a Dallas a holding call against Philadelphia. There's a flag down at the 27-yard line, well downfield. Well, Seth Joyner, he's not playing at full speed. But even at 80%. He's still better than most linebackers in this game, and he forces a fumble by stripping the ball away. Novacek coming off the line of scrimmage there. He's going to draw the holding call. Holding number 30, defense. Ouch. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Otis Smith 
Ouch. Part of the nickel combination and doing anything he can to slow down Novacek. Novacek breaking to the inside and Smith sensing oh. he was going to be beaten deep and he was man for man. He had to hold him and he did and drew the flag. Keep in mind that field judge back there. His responsibility is to watch the tight end release from the line of scrimmage. It was apparent the hold and that was an excellent look that Kenny Wolf and Craig Janoff gave us of the official looking right at it and throwing the flag. It can show you what a Novacek can do to you. It forces all kinds of things that you ordinarily would not have to do to another tight end. It's the automatic first down that's the killer here. Here's Emmett Smith. Nowhere. Andy Harmon, 91, with the tackle. 2.40 to go in the half, and as we look ahead, two timeouts left for Dallas, plus the two-minute warning. Emmett Smith shakes his head. What do I have to do to find an opening? I think you never really have to worry about the Eagles, do you guys? About their tackling. You know, you see, you talk to the coaches, well, we didn't tackle well, we didn't tackle well. You never hear that about the Eagles. No, not when you look at that chart that says overall against the run and against the pass, and all you see are number ones. Number one in the conference, number one in the league. On second and 11, Aikman, that is deflected and it is incomplete. Alvin Harper, the intended receiver, and Eric Allen breaking it up. And it will be third down and 11 as we have come to the two minute warning. It comes officially with 158 remaining in the first half in Philadelphia. Eagles 10, Cowboys 7. This is Pioneer Home Theater with laser disc images 60% sharper than most VCRs. The world's leading AV receivers, speakers customized for home theater, and a big screen picture that's real as life. From the leaders in audio and video. Home theater so advanced, you don't just watch it. Someone pick up my phone. Carrie here. You're dead, Carrie. That package you promised never got here. This isn't Mr. Carey. This is his secretary. Please hold. <clears throat> Federal Express, I need to check on a package fast. Keep holding, please. I hear Mr. Carey down the hall. Your package Only Federal Express can confirm delivery in seconds. Other companies can take days. That package was delivered at 9.07, signed for by Mr. Hanson. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Federal Express, our most important package is yours. A real sports coupe is more than fancy technology. It's the perfect balance between the needs of a driver and the needs of a curve. With a pure focused performance that makes even the same old road seem new. Because it's not the road you take, it's how you take the road. The all new 24 valve Ford Pro GT. Have you driven a Ford lately? Check out what's new this year on Roseanne. Wow. Jackie's got a boyfriend. She's really sensitive about the age thing. Aren't you in my science class? Roseanne, Tuesday. <laughs> Third and 11 for the Dallas Cowboys at the Eagle 40-yard line. Eagles up by three, 158 to go in the half. Two timeouts remaining for Dallas. Aikman has to get it to the 29, hits Novacek, and he gets tackled at the 33-yard line, his fourth reception of the game. He is stopped by Wes Hopkins, and now we'll see if the Cowboys, with a rookie kicker, opt for a 50-yard field goal attempt. And that is what Johnson is doing right now. Novacek again as they continue to double up on the outside. They did that in the first game played last year when they had the 11 sacks, and they shut out Dallas 24 to nothing. They have gone back to that type of defense. Novacek is the open receiver, and Aikman is forced to go to him. Well, they sent Burline in to hold, and now they line up under center with Burline on fourth down and three to see if they can get Philadelphia to jump. They're the play clock is down to five. They might not even take the snap, though, Al. No, no, they're not going to. No snap, no. Smart play by Dallas and an even smarter play by Philadelphia in sitting at all. We used to do that at Bakersfield High School. I'm sure that's where Jimmy Johnson got it. Well, <laughs> it has a hideout, too, I think. 
you know, I wonder how smart the play. I think it would have been a smarter play had they taken a timeout, maybe with one second left on the on the play clock. Why take the penalty? Now you you're looking at a 55-yard attempt, or you have oh, to go for punt. a fourth and eight. Obviously, Al, he had no intention of yeah, kicking no the field way. goal. Yep. Well, Elliott's longest career yeah. field goal is 52 yards. By not taking the timeout, they were demonstrating that they never intended to kick the yeah. field goal. They, he, at this point, sends Saxon in to pooch kick it. At the 38-yard line, the line of scrimmage. And he almost knocked it out of bounds inside the five, but just got it into the end zone. So it comes out to the 20 with exactly a minute remaining in the first half. And Cunningham and the Eagles take over up by three. Introducing Ford Taurus Wagon and the bags. While all wagons have room for bags in back, only Ford has wagons in this class with two bags up front, keeping Taurus out front in safety. Ford Taurus Wagon. Escort of the 90s, more power, better handling, more room, and a sleeker look. We received a special recognition. More repeat buyers than any small car in America. Ford Escort. Undefeated powers collide. The Miami Hurricanes storm into Penn State for a high noon showdown with the seventh ranked Nittany Lions Saturday on ABC Sports. One minute remaining in the first half. Eagles have it at the 20. They have two timeouts at their disposal. Cunningham nearly sacked. And then takes the out of and gets the first down. I don't believe it. What a pleasure to watch. <laughs> that ate up nine seconds. There's tomorrow's lineup, prime time on ABC Full House, hanging with Mr. Cooper, Roseanne, coach, and going to extremes. The primetime block tomorrow night on ABC. I'm glad I wasn't one of our cameramen uh -huh. having to follow Cunningham doing that. He would have been a little better off than Godfrey Miles in there, linebacker, trying to tackle Cunningham. He didn't even touch him. He was the last one he juked. Randall with a 12-yard gain. He's picked up 42 yards on the ground tonight. And on first half in the 32, oh. he's very lucky that Gant didn't pick it off. Intended for Byers, broken up by Kenneth Gant. Well, the Cowboys sitting in zone, and Gant just reading it all the way. Byers working short. Watch Gant there in the middle of your screen. He'll make his break go right by the guys heading downfield. That is not the way to have a half come to an end. We may see Randall be a little more selective here. Shotgun, second and ten at the 32-yard line. Three-man rush. They put the pressure on, and it's one hop to Williams up at the 44-yard line. It'll be third down and ten. 42 seconds and two timeouts left for the Eagles. And Dan was right. Deliberately one hop by Randall Cunningham. And he was looking over and said, are you going to let the clock go? But now with two incomplete passes and the clock stopping, Dallas is looking at getting the ball back here. I won't guess. How many timeouts does Dallas no, they've have? They've got two. Two, okay. <laughs> what a 50% chance yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, well, I've discovered that snowballs. Once wrong, you stay wrong. 33% chance. Third and 10. 
at the 32-yard line. Again, a three-man rush, and he gets sacked at the 25-yard line, and now Dallas should take a timeout as Tony Tolbert gets credit for the sack, and that's going to stop the clock with 37 seconds remaining in the first half. A good play by Randall. Good coverage by the Cowboys downfield. He wasn't going to try to force anything in there. Go down at the 25-yard line. Dallas takes a timeout. They have one left. They'll be getting the ball after the punt with 37 ticks remaining in the half and a three-point eagle advantage. Are you guys having it your way? They're entranced they're having it their way so much. I love this place. Look, they're all four of them are staring. No, you can't have any. If you want some breakfast, you have to go to Burger King. You can't have mine. It's breakfast at Burger King. No, get off. You see George Reach? It was like, give me that. Look, your sandwich for 99 cents. Does that sound like a good deal to you, Abe? Yeah, man, it sounds like a peachy deal to me. Abe's smart man. A 99 cent per sandwich. Are you guys having it your way? Right away. Mm-hmm. They love this place. No matter which side of the abortion issue you're on, we've got news for you. It may already be decided. Why Roe versus Wade is moved. If it's important to you, you'll find it in time. Ford trucks, the best, never rest. That's right. Only Ford truck offers driver airbags in both mini and full-size vans. But there's a lot more to safety than that. That's why Ford not only designs and builds trucks to meet or exceed federal crash test requirements, we also do special safety testing of our own. We do what the government says and a lot more. The best-built, best-selling American trucks are built Ford tough. Two interested observers. Uh... On the right, Joe Avizano, the Cowboys special teams coach. On the left, Larry Pasquale, the Eagles special teams coach. The Eagles are going to get the ball. And the man to watch here is Isaac Holt right there, the premier kick blocker of the Cowboys. Cowboys will get the ball after the Eagle kick. Fiegel sets up at his own 10-yard line. Holt, number 30. Dallas has blocked six kicks in the last 12 regular season games. The Fiegels gets off a beauty at the 23-yard line. Martin. Runs out of bounds at the 33, so that's where Dallas has it with 26 seconds and one timeout remaining after a beautiful 52-yard boot by Jeff Fiegels. Veterans Stadium opened in 1971, home of the Eagles and the Phillies. And their Eagles unbeaten, as are the Cowboys coming in. Each team 3-0, the winner. Undisputed possession of first place in the NFC East. Bud Carson, the defensive coordinator of the Eagles, watching his charges. If you're North Turner, Troy Aikman, Jimmy Johnson, and the Cowboys, how aggressive do you get here with this amount of time left? From the 34-yard line. This aggressive. Yep. Aggressive enough that it's incomplete. Intended for Irvin, who's been limited to only one catch tonight. Eric Allen with a coverage. Irvin with that one catch. It was a big one, 59 yards, and it was a spectacular catch as he had a reach from behind. Let's take a look at Irvin going up against one of the better defensive backs in the game today, Allen. He's made a couple of big plays tonight. Coming back, timing it out just perfectly. Irvin's big receiver, 6'2", 199 pounds. Plays even bigger than that, and he has a great use of the hands in pushing off of defenders. Second and ten. Four-man rush. Aikman in and out of the hands of Novacek, the tight end, with 16 seconds remaining. It'll be third and ten. Eagles last year finished the season number one against the rush, number one against the pass, which of course makes them number one overall. Good. And they're in the same spot this year. Yeah, everybody calls it the triple crown. <laughs> it's really it's the double crown because if you're going to lead the league in rushing defense and passing defense, you have to lead in total defense. We'll have a piece on Randall Cunningham at halftime, and I think the receiver that Eagles have got to watch here is Harper. They like to throw the ball up and just let him go up and jump for it. Now they're going to play it safe. Emmett Smith has the first down, steps out of bounds with 10 seconds at the 48-yard line. 
That's one of those uh, running plays that will make Emmett Smith's yardage numbers here for the first half seem more productive than they really were. I mean that, that's going to add handily to his total and a really almost uncontested rushing yardage by by the Eagles defensively at the 48 now first down 10 ticks left. They need something now to take, take it out of bounds near the Eagles 30. They still have that timeout too. Here is Aikman throwing hits Novacek. He's trying to get out of bounds and can't at the 45 yard line with three seconds and Dallas. Why would you run a seven yard yeah. pattern in that situation with 10 seconds. And they're going to take the time. I don't understand that either. that that makes no sense whatsoever to me. What does that yeah. have to do. I mean I don't see any well, he might not have been the prime where receiver. that could have worked might not have been the prime receiver maybe he was to pull the linebacker off the coverage downfield but you got to go downfield at the very least hoping you might get a penalty of some kind and, and right now yeah, that and with 10 seconds left I mean you, you, you need 25 yeah. yards yeah. to set up a, a field goal attempt. Johnson obviously doesn't feel that, that Lynn Elliott's range is 50 yeah. yards by yeah. the way he made that pretty clear on the last drive. But it was a year ago in RFK Stadium. They went with, I hate to even say it, I get so much heat about saying Hail Mary, but they went with the Hail Mary against the Washington Redskins and they were successful to Harper just before the half in that game. Well, that's what they're down to here. You've got three seconds. The place kicker Elliott, but uh, he is no factor at, at this moment. No, oh, but he ought to, I think he. Ought to be trying to stay loose or mm -hmm. to possibly get some sort of a penalty or mm -hmm. remember the half can end on a defensive penalty. Mm -hmm. Barring a penalty last play of the half. Aikman just throws it up for grabs and it's knocked down inside the five yard line. Five Eagles were back there. So that's the end of the first half. Philadelphia leads it. 10 to 7 and we'll return with halftime activities after this message from the National Football League and a word from our ABC station. This is Dallas, Texas, where our greatest asset is our people. Hi, I'm Troy Aikman of the Dallas Cowboys. Over the years, I've been a United Way volunteer. But this year, I want to do more. Because just like the Cowboys, United Way has a whole new game plan. And I want us all to be a part of that winning team for United Way. This is the Infant Intervention Center. It's just one of the more than 100 agencies and programs helping people in Dallas. Sometimes it takes the biggest and the strongest among us to help the smallest, most needy among us. United Way is too important to turn our backs on because these children and all of us may need help at one time in our lives. And United Way will be there, but only if you care, only if we all give. This program is giving these little people hope. Most, this message furnished by the National Football League. Tim takes on more than he can handle. Oh, I pulled my groin. What's that? My very favorite muscle. It's a real disability. Al, come here, I need some help. Home improvement. I don't believe that's part of my job description, Tim. Followed by Laurie Hill Wednesday. The critics love Delta. How could they resist? TV Guide says Delta's fun to watch. Oh, this could be my ticket out here. Oh, please, let her audition. Burke shines in Delta. How'd you picture me? With claws. Thursday, followed by Room for Two. Drop into a Dodge dealer now, and you can get a Ram 150 pickup with over $2,600 in package savings, plus $1,500 cash back. Or get a Cummins diesel and get $500 cash back. $500. That's something Dodge hardly ever drops on diesel pickups. It's the National Dodge Truck Sale. Now arriving at a Dodge dealer near you. For all of you with the courage to go it alone, to put your future on the line and your name on the door, there's the corporate card from American Express. Use it for all your business expenses. We'll organize them by category and even provide records of charges. It's a great way for any company to get a handle on costs. Call 1-800-SUCCESS. The corporate card to your success. The deadline draws near. Will city workers walk out the latest after the game? The Lexus Halftime Report. Brought to you by Lexus.
Lexus luxury automobile. The result of their relentless pursuit of perfection. Here now, Frank Gifford. We're at halftime, Veterans Stadium, Philadelphia. Tonight, the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. There are few players in the NFL who can literally lift a team to another level. Randall Cunningham is such a player. Now in his seventh year and following a year off with serious knee trouble, Randall, if possible, has taken yet another step in becoming the game's most complete quarterback. In the past, I used to just try to show by example, by going out, working hard, dedicating myself, and doing whatever it takes. I'm more verbal now. When a guy makes a mistake, I'll tell him. But it's in a nice way where no feelings are hurt and then there's not a, an open gate to where they can say, well, you missed the pass, so why don't you worry about you missing the pass? The criticism now is, is, is corrective criticism in a positive way. Randall's critique of other players is not nearly as severe as his own self-scrutiny. He spends countless hours preparing physically. The only thing that comes naturally is his instinct. I'm going to make sure that I keep myself fine-tuned and in shape to where if I have to make a move and take off the field, I can do it. Um, I've been blessed to be able to see guys out of the corner of my eye, and uh, I think I have an eye behind my head underneath my hair. Randall's unique style on the field has not only won him the acclaim of the Philadelphia fans, it has also thrust him into the national spotlight. I think that the, the popularity has grown since my first year in the league. Uh, you know, being on the national television, I mean, just all the endorsements and things that come my way, I've, I've, I've learned now that I market myself. And I think uh, the celebrity status is basically what you make of it. If you don't go out in the public and do the charities, if you don't show up for the card events or you don't, you're not on the commercials, then you aren't seen as a celebrity. Can I touch you? Time and exposure have molded Randall into a mature businessman and player. His year away from the game gave him time to reflect on his experiences. What I've learned from my injury is that when you fear something, that can happen. But if you learn or you train yourself not to be uh, afraid of anything, then it won't happen. So I've been confident now since the injury. And uh, the only thing I fear is spiders and snakes. Three years ago, when we introduced the Lexus LS400, it was hailed as nearly perfect. Our engineers took that as a challenge. Saturday, ABC Sports kicks off a doubleheader with a showdown of undefeated powers. Number two Miami invades Penn State to tackle the seventh-ranked Nittany Lions. Then regional coverage follows as the nation's number one team, the Washington Huskies, battle California. Michigan hosts Michigan State or other key conference matchups. All Saturday on ABC Sports. Halftime, Veteran Stadium, Philadelphia. The Eagles leading the Cowboys by three in a game where I think and Al and Dan and I thought would be just about like this kind of a game. It's sort of uh, back and forth, back and forth, a little rugged here and there. But I think that I can't go back. I can't help thinking what Jimmy Johnson said last night. I've told Troy Aikman, don't turn it over. Don't get yourself in trouble. Throw it into the ground, get the penalty, whatever. But don't turn it over, and that's where they've been hurt thus far. Exactly. Had he not uh, turned it over, they would have at least been tied mm -hmm. because they were certainly within field goal range. As we go back and take a look at some of the highlights from the first half, it began early on for Philadelphia with an interception by John Booty a little over a minute into the game on the third play of the game for Dallas. And then Booty was able to run it back deep into Dallas territory and it was capped off by this Randall Cunningham bootleg to the right and Cunningham takes it in for a score to give Philadelphia an early seven to nothing advantage but back came the Cowboys a key play on this drive was a 59 yard reception by Michael Irvin and then the payoff was this catch by Kelvin Martin who slips by Izell Jenkins goes in for his first touchdown reception since 1989 Ruzek's field goal then made a 10 7 and here's the play to which Frank alluded Aikman clearly in field goal range at least trying to force one into Alfredo Roberts tipped by William Thomas intercepted 
by West Hopkins in the end zone and thus it's uh, it's been a first half Dan played in fits and starts and sort of jumpy but a lot of excitement in the three point lead for the Eagles a lot of excitement and, and, and points by mistakes and I think that's the way this game is going to continue to evolve uh, whomever makes the mistakes in the second half whomever can capitalize upon them I think it's the old story the way most games are decided but more so in here because I think the margin of error here is so slim now what we haven't seen is really big big plays on special teams and I, I know all of us saw coming into here that this was probably the way the game would be decided somebody's going to run back a punt somebody's going to have one block something like that but 10 7 at the half I think it's indicative of how close these two teams are to each other well they're at three points apart kind of a game that we thought it would be uh, the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles always a happening when these two teams get together here in the city of brotherly love where we'll be back in a moment. The Lexus Halftime Report has been brought to you by Lexus Luxury Automobiles, the result of a relentless pursuit of perfection. We'll be back with the second half kickoff after this message and a word from our ABC station. Her with Norm. She was all over him. He seduced her. I wish I could stay on the night. He videotaped her. Oh, you did this filthy ugly thing and you let them take you? And everyone she knows is about to see it all. He set me up. Overexposed, Sunday at 9, 8 Central. This is an Action News halftime report with Lisa Thomas Laurie. Hello, our big story at halftime, the city labor deadline. Workers are threatening to stage a walkout beginning at midnight, but talks are still continuing at this hour. Let's go live now to senior correspondent Mark Howard. He's at the vet where more than football has been happening, right, Mark? Lisa, that's right. There were uh, city workers out here leafleting the crowd on the way into the game this evening, but their leadership assured us that they will not disrupt the game. The bad news is I talked to Mayor Rendell five minutes ago. He's not optimistic at this hour that they'll have a settlement by midnight, but we'll be here. Back to you, Lisa. All right, Mark, now for a locker room update. Here's Scott Palmer. Lisa, the Eagles cling to a three-point lead thanks to the scrambling touchdown by Randall Cunningham. However, they have to be concerned about Calvin Martin of the Cowboys. He showed in the first half how he can take over a football game. And they have to make sure that Seth Joyner stays healthy in the second half. Back with a live locker report after the game. All right, Scott, complete updates on the labor deadline and the Eagles after the game. I'm Lisa thomas Lore. <laughs> It happened here once before. Pennsylvania ignored new technologies in manufacturing and paid dearly for it. A generation later, the issue is new technologies in telecommunications, a network that will combine voice, data, and video. It will do wonderful things, not just for business, but for education and health care, too. We need this new network. We need it now. And we need the right people to build it. With so much of Pennsylvania's future on the line, we can't afford to let this happen again. Watch Wheel of Fortune tomorrow night at 7.30 on Channel 6. These NFL Monday Night Football. Brought to you by Dodge. In the car business you lead, follow, or get out of the way. By Dollar Rent-A-Car. Right on the airport, right on the money. And by Budweiser, the king of beers with that fresh, pure, natural taste. Nothing beats a bud. We start the second half at Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. Each team 3-0 and oh coming in. Eagles on top 10-7 to seven and Philadelphia will get the ball. As Lynn Elliott kicks off for the Cowboys. By Sikahema. Back to receive for the Eagles. for the clock to get reset at 15. And here we go. Second Hemmel waits for it at the seven yard line. And straight up the middle out to the 24. Tackled by Darren Woodson, rookie out of Arizona State. 
And let's take a look at the numbers through the first 30 minutes of play. Dallas with an overwhelming lead in yardage, but they also have the turnovers. The two turnovers, and one of them prevented points, the other gave up a touchdown. Yeah, the opening interception by Booty was the one that led to the Eagle touchdown. That's Floyd Dixon in motion, and Herschel Walker begins with a one yard pickup over the right side, tackled by. Tony Tolbert and Vincent Smith also helping out. It'll be second down and nine at the 25 yard line. Herschel Walker, very much of a workhorse through the first three games. 76 carries in three games coming in. It's 25 carries a game. And a guy, well, you know the story, released by Minnesota, and it would seem to be a perfect fit in the Philadelphia offense. Dixon again in motion. Fires this time. Up to the 29-yard line. Russell Maryland makes the tackle. It'll be third and five. Now to take your Herschel Walker analysis a step further, I, what I hearken back to was on this very field. The Vikings were here to play the Eagles a couple of years ago, and it was on that night that Herschel Walker looked so, so out of it, so not even a part of the Viking team. I, I mean, I really thought his career was in jeopardy of being over. Mm -hmm. It was a low point of his career, no question, but Rich Kotite, when he brought him in, he gave him this kind of an offense. Look at him, seven yards deep, his own block when he carries the ball and let him pick the hole. Third and six, and here's Walker bursting for a first down up to the 35-yard line, tackled by Norton and Miles. Now that's Herschel Walker. You don't send him outside, you don't... Try to let him do a whole lot of blocking. You line him up there deep. He has great speed. Not a whole lot of niftiness. But if he ever gets through a gap, he's gone with that 9-300 speed of his. It also, I think, Frank, amplifies, if you ask the Eagles, what is their biggest area of improvement on this football team? And they'll tell you that it's the play of their offensive line. Heller, Shad, Alexander, Floyd, and Davis. A much improved unit from a year ago. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Cunningham drops it off for Walker and Herschel can't break a tackle as Larry Brown the corner comes up to stop him for a one yard pickup. Two men that came into the league at the opposite end of things Herschel Walker and Larry Brown. <laughs> Larry Brown a 12th round draft choice last year started 13 games for the Cowboys had a couple of interceptions but. One guy with a Heisman Trophy and one guy hanging on by his fingernail. Mm -hmm. Both starters, both productive. Second to nine, Eagles at the 36, Philly up by three. Fake to Walker. Cunningham looking for room, finds none. Tackled after a one-yard gain by Casillas and Washington. It'll be third and eight. That was, uh, should have given Walker the ball. <laughs> Not the, not the prettiest thing we've seen all night. It was, I don't know whether he was, I'm not, not sure what he was passer, and I don't know what he was attempting to do. Might have been a blown something by Cunningham. You roll out behind the flow of a play, you're going to attract the crowd, and he did. Third and eight at the 37 yard line. Out of the shotgun. Pressure to the 25. The ball is loose. Oh, There's hurt. been no whistle. And, and Cunningham's Eagles get hurt. It back. Oh, and Al and Frank Randall's hurt. Mm -hmm. Grabbing his right leg. It was the left knee, by the way, that was hurt last year, requiring the surgery. Jimmy Jones comes in. It looked like the right guard, Eric Floyd, didn't know what the snap count was. Jones goes right by him while Floyd is still down in his stance. And Randall. <laughs> jogging it off on the sidelines and I think all of Philadelphia right now is their heart is in their throat on fourth down Fiegels as it bounces at the 32 oh and did he get a break out oh, tremendous break because that's a, a 20 yard roll the Dallas was in a return mode with their special team no pressure on Fiegels he had a bad snap and there is a collective
sort of sigh of relief by this capacity crowd of Randall Cunningham appears to be all right. We've got a bit of an edge with the driver we have. We've got the best driver out there. So it's, it's a matter of, of the mechanics just not overlooking anything. Al and I stay in, uh, stay in constant uh, communication uh, during the race. Uh, I have to be aware of what he wants or needs you know, at all times. I think the small details are the, uh, is what makes the difference between winning and running second. Eric Floyd right here. Here is Jimmy Jones. Watch Floyd. He doesn't know the snap count. He's still got his hand on the ground. Jones is by him. He makes the contact with Cunningham, but it's Jeffcoat who falls into Cunningham's knee that threw a scare into everybody. And then after a 63-yard Feagles punt, 20 of those yards on the ground, first down from the 12, Smith stopped by Harmon. Floyd was on the bench talking to Bill Muir, his offensive line coach. Oh, he looked to me oh, near tears. And and can you imagine that uh, <laughs> if Randall would have been hurt, uh, it would have been your fault. And yet it looks like Randall Cunningham is just fine. And Eric Floyd, a very <laughs> happy guy. There they are talking. Yeah. Floyd, a plan B pickup from San Diego. Smith after a two-yard gain, second and eight. The fake to Smith. And Aikman is going deep for Harper, and Harper Justin makes a great catch, getting position on Izell Jenkins and coming back to make the catch at the 45 of Philadelphia. And we uh, talked in the first half about his jumping ability, a 7-2 high jumper. He hung it up there and just took it away from Izell Jenkins. He's big, 6-3. They love to put it up. Jenkins, not bad position on the ball. I mean, it's really kind of an ugly pass. Underthrown. Both guys have to slow down to the point, but Alvin Harper with just that tremendous. And look how long he stayed up in the air. If you're Izell Jenkins, I, how do you defend that? I don't. I don't know that anybody has an answer for that. First and ten at the 45-yard line. The fake draw, and then Aikman has his arm hit as he throws, and it's intercepted by Byron Evans. Out of bounds at the 45 of Dallas. Was it Reggie White? It was somebody coming from the right side. Seth Joyner. Seth Joyner got a hand on the ball. Coming from the outside on the right. Seth Joyner gets around Eric Williams, the right tackle. And there's a big play. Seth Joyner is one of those rare football players that he makes things happen in a football game. We talked about his game, great game against Houston a year ago. He does it all year long. Here he comes, number 59, top of your screen. Eric Williams just gives him the soft corner. Doesn't even hit Joyner. That's an interior play by the right tackle. First and 10, Eagles at the 45-yard line. And they give it to Walker for a gain of three. Takes it to the 42, the initial stop made by Robert Jones. And we'll take another peek at that interception. From the left side, there's Joyner. This makes contact, and Evans just has to wait for it to get there. Look how quickly the Eagles defensive team gets into a blocking mode. Waters coming back with a block that makes extra yardage for Evans. Third interception for Aikman, but you can't blame that on the Dallas quarterback. 
Aikman had had only two interceptions in the first three games this season. Second and six from the 41-yard line. Here's Byers behind a Walker block. Stopped by Jones, short of the first down. It will be third and roughly two with 8.15 to go in the third quarter. And the Eagles on top 10-7 with all of the scoring in the game in the first period. Troy Aikman coming into the game had completed close to 70% of his passes, but tonight 10 out of 24. The one touchdown to Martin and three picks. And only thrown two interceptions in the previous three games. But look at that. Three times of the four times he's done it have come against the Eagles. I mean, that's every quarterback in the NFC East. Isn't it? <laughs> Third and two from the 37-yard line. Cunningham throws. The catch is made. And forward progress for Barnett should be enough for a first down and is. Well-run pattern by Barnett. And a good read. By Cunningham, he, he found the man-for-man -man coverage. And Barnett just was the threat going upfield against Larry Brown. Brown playing way off, but in the man coverage, and Cunningham reads it. That's the old saying, pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. Brett Barnett knew exactly how far to go. Got his first down by about a yard, because that's all he had to have. From the 34, a little toss back to Walker. Herschel inside the 30 and run out of bounds at the 27-yard line by James Washington. Big Antone Davis gets out in front of that. What a classy act in Herschel Walker. He kept his mouth shut all week long and for the last two weeks about all the hype building up to this game, how he would like to have the great game against Dallas. You heard nothing from Herschel Walker, but you know that inside he would love to have a great one tonight. Second and four from the 27-yard line. Walker again. Walker to the 23-yard line, and that's very close to the first down. I believe he has it. Robert Jones makes the tackle. First down. Clock running, 6.20 to go, third quarter. Eagles on top by three. there was any question about Randall Cunningham's knee and how far it's back. I think it's all put to bed now. Think to Walker. That's by his time. Too deep, nearly picked off by Horton on the pass intended for Calvin Williams. Calvin Williams got tangled up and he tripped and Horton had an easy shot at the interception. Williams went down Inside the five yard line, he wasn't there even to take it away from Horton. He got tangled up with his defender. There goes Williams, he's down. But Horton playing center field was right there. Isaac Holt providing the coverage on Williams. They got tangled up and Williams went down. Second and 10, Eagles at the Cowboy 23. Four man rush. Cunningham throws to Byers. Beautiful. And first and goal. That, that is pretty. That is really pretty. Being chased by Leon Lett. Randall Cunningham stops and sidearms the ball back perfectly to Byers. I mean, you don't work on it in practice. You don't coach it. You don't even talk about it. Few people can do it. Great body control. What an athlete. First and goal at the nine. Walker. Touchdown. the broken tackle in the backfield. He's been had by Kenny Norton Jr. 
And this right here may start a trend. Herschel Walker acting like he's been there before. Roger Ruzek with the extra point. Yep, he's made both teams better. Well, it's here. Time for me to step down and retire as chairman of Chrysler. And hey, anybody that goes out wants to go out with a bang. And we've got a bang that'll be heard from Germany to Japan. It's a new car design that's as revolutionary as our minivan was. It's going to change the way cars are designed from now on. We call it cab forward. What we did was move the windshield forward. Then we pulled the rear wheels back, made the rear doors wider and easier to get through, and increased the width. Believe me, this does more than just improve the looks. It gives you a lot more room inside, it rides better, and it's easier to handle. I think cab forward, like our minivan, is going to get copied by everybody. It has to, just because it makes so much sense. You know, I got to tell you, when it's your last turn at bat, it sure is nice to hit a home run. The year's top screen adventure is the last of the Mohicans. <laughs> Mohicans is the diehard of the frontier. The thrill ride of the first order, like Terminator 2. Siskel and Ebert give it two thumbs up. The number one movie in America. The Last of the Mohicans. Rated R. Now playing at theaters everywhere. It's a capital share. The Broncos meet the skins to the hog's delight. It's an East-West showdown hell Monday night. The Eagles cash in. Off the interception, march down the field, Walker takes it in. Philadelphia up on top, 17 to 7. With 5.01 remaining in the third. Gant, he wants more crowd noise, he'll get it too. Ruzek to kick off. Gant and Kelvin Martin to run it back. Low liner. Touchback. Come back. The Cowboys trailing by 10 for the first down at the 20 after the Eagles go 45 yards in eight plays. We built this business. I hit the brakes. You know, they're at a lock brakes. It was close, but we stopped in time. Build this business. Every year they plant new trees. Dad says they make good things from trees. After my accident, they advanced my insurance benefits and built me a ramp and got me back on my feet. We built this business to build your dreams. Ten years, I still get butterflies. Funny, she doesn't look married. I bet she cries or bites her lip. Hello, stranger. I'm hardly a stranger. Well, you are late. I know. You shouldn't have waited 10 years for this. <gasps> Happy anniversary. The Diamond Anniversary Band. Tell her you'd marry her all over again. <laughs> you sure can not pick an appetizer. Drop by your Dodge dealer and you can pick up $500 cash back on any new Dodge Dakota in stock. Dakota Club cabs are also available with a four-speed automatic and air conditioning at no extra charge. And even all dressed up Dakota sports now drop under 10 grand. It's the National Dodge Truck Sale. Now arriving at a Dodge dealer near you. Tomorrow, put the most voters and the most problems together, and you've got California. Why do you think we're going there? World News Tonight with Peter Jennings from California. Lights of downtown Philly reflecting off a Schuylkill River. 
on a sparkling night. And it's been a sparkling night for the Eagle fans to this point because their club leads 17-7. Cowboys have it. First and 10 to the 24-55 to go in the third. And Emmett Smith picks up only three. And it's amazing what that Philadelphia defense can do. They can make your running game look terrible and your passing game look terrible night after night after night. And how they consistently generate points off of turnovers. Two interceptions accounting for both Eagle touchdowns tonight. Look at that. 14 points. And another interception kept Dallas from a three point field goal. Almost certain. On second and seven, here's Smith again. A decent hole this time for him, but it closes in a hurry. Short of the first down. Stopped by William Thomas, and then Waters comes up. And it will be third down and a short two from the 28-yard line. And Waters is slow in getting up. Waters actually took a good shot from one of his own teammates. And this is where it's wise to just stay down. More often than not, you'll see a defensive player ends up with an acre of pain. It's because one of his own guys coming up to finish somebody off ends up making the hit. Watch the right. Waters is coming from the left. He led with the helmet as he customarily yeah. does, and this time he collides with his own man and Clyde Simmons. And Waters is now on the carpet. Injury timeout. Drop into a Dodge dealer now and you can get a Ram 150 pickup with over $2,600 in package savings, plus $1,500 cash back. Or get a Cummins diesel and get $500 cash back. $500. That's something Dodge hardly ever drops on diesel pickups. It's the National Dodge Truck Sale. Now arriving at a Dodge dealer near you. The Washington Huskies host Pac-10 rival California for other key conference matchups. It's game two of an ABC College football doubleheader Saturday. Andre Waters came off under his own power. In fact, he ran off the field, but he's out for at least one play. And Rich Miano takes his spot third and two at the 28-yard line for the Cowboys. Aikman throws, and that's a catch by Irvin at the 37-yard line. He's been bottled up tonight, and only his second catch of the night, but at a very opportune time as they convert on third for another first down. Yeah, both of Michael's catches tonight have kept drives alive. The big one after the Eagles climbed to an early lead. He reached behind him and took the Cowboys down the field, and this was... Again, a very opportune grab by Michael Irvin. The Dallas Cowboys in desperate need of a time-consuming, yardage-gathering, point-producing drive. From the 37-yard line, here's Emmett Smith. Hello. Clyde Simmons with the greeting. Simmons is a terrific player. The problem is he plays on a team with so many big names and the other bookend is Reggie White. So if Simmons were anywhere else, you'd be hearing a lot more about him. He is a great player, but Reggie White makes him a much better player. Reggie attracts so much attention over the right side. Here's Simmons, bottom of your screen. There's nobody on him at that point, but he is one fine football player, very swift 
Would have been nice if the Cowboys might have tried to block him. Second and 11 at the 37-yard line. Aikman dumping it for Emmett Smith. And Smith cannot get by Seth Joyner one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Smith Seth just Joyner, frustrated. Man, and Joyner, who I think it was very apparent early in the ball game was, was having a problem with a leg, has just come back and been playing beautifully. And, you know, it, it, it is inspirations like that that really flow to everybody else in the defensive huddle. They all know that Joyner's Nick. And here's that situation where you hate to have third down along against the Eagles. Now watch Emmett Smith. He jokes, he jogs, and Seth Joyner, a superb athlete, and apparently fine now, Dan, makes a tough open field tackle. Third and 12, Andre Waters is back in the game. Aikman over the middle. The catch is made by Martin, and he's got a first down. He is tackled by Booty, but he needed 12 and got 13. First down at the 48-yard line as he applauds himself. No well back. thrown. That was Oof. pretty good coverage on Martin. And Aikman, as the pocket was beginning to collapse, delivered a right on target. Back-to-back -back third down conversions for Jimmy Johnson's Cowboys. Pretty good protection, but... As it starts to collapse, Aikman throws the perfect strike. Tough to fault the coverage by Booty. As we mentioned, Waters back in the game, first and 10 at the 48. 39 seconds left in the quarter. Aikman over the middle again, and it's deflected off just his hands into Gesick's hands. He loses the ball. Eagles have it. And that'll be a fumble by John Gesick. Boy, but is this not oh, Eagles boy. defensive football? They are so disruptive. Evans hits Johnston. And the Eagles come up with the ball as Gogan, where Gisick loses the football, and William Thomas gives the Eagles possession at the 48-yard line. I mean, needless to say, John Gisick isn't used to carrying the ball. It comes right to him. And he just loses it. Bad break, Dallas. Again. I was already late for my meeting when my flight landed. Lucky for me, someone left a courtesy car. I had to get the dollar in a car fast. I knew they were right on the airport with low rates. Welcome to Dollar. Hello, I have a car rental reservation. No problem. I'll just punch it up on the computer. Dollar Rent-A-Car is right on the airport, right on the money, with over 1,000 locations around the world. Call your travel consultant or Dollar at 1-800-800-4000. Now's the time to drop into your Dodge truck dealer. He'll fix you up with the power of one of our Magnum engines. And to sweeten your deal, he'll add up to $1,500 cash back. Plus up to thousands more in package discounts on just about every truck in stock even diesels and vans. It's the National Dodge Truck Sale, now arriving at a Dodge dealer near you. Well, the Cowboys moving down the field, and then all of a sudden, on the fumble, they turn the ball over for the fourth time, and the Eagles have it at their own 48-yard line. Evans creating that one. Yeah, Opportunistic again the word we keep applying to that Philadelphia defensive team the Our constant pressure on every offensive player who's touching the football has just become a hallmark of this Eagle team. Some great outstanding defensive plays tonight by Seth Joyner Byron Evans who Buddy Ryan always said would turn into a, a great football player is developing even more each year at a big hitter and he put a smack on. Well, Johnston on that play. When you force two fumbles on the same play, that's somewhat indicative <laughs> of how hard you're hitting. Yeah, it's getting it done, isn't it? 30 seconds remaining in the quarter. Here's Byers taking the inside handoff and just getting back to the line of scrimmage. And that will be the final play of the third quarter. Well, we've reached that point where you ask an awful lot of your defensive team, and that's what the Cowboys right now are asking of their group. They need to force the Philadelphia Eagles to run just a couple more plays and punt the ball away. 
They cannot fall farther behind and expect to win this game. Third quarter is over. Back we come with Monday Night Football after this word from our ABC stations. Ryan Watkins came to New York to see a tennis tournament. He went home dead, a victim of kids who robbed for fun. Meet them on primetime Thursday. If you haven't seen Going to Extremes, oh yeah, man, don't worry. Here's what you've been missing. <laughs> it has hit written all over it. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Going to Extremes, Tuesday. I'll give it a try, you know. The Eagles and Cowboys are locked up in a classic. I'm Scott Palmer, and I'll have a live report from the Eagles locker room after the game. You got to hit the ground running. If you want a truck as tough and as good looking as you are, you want the number one seller, Ford. Tough on the outside, comfortable on the inside. If you got more style than the next guy, move on up to a flair side. Ford backs each truck with a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty. Get cash back for a limited time. Hit the ground running at your local Ford dealer today. Save $1,550 on the 93 F-150 XLT at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. The car, the American Express car. Don't leave home without it. Jeopardy! It's as much fun as you think. Tomorrow at 7 on Channel 6. Man on the left, Norman Brayman, owns the Eagles. Man on the right is the president and chief operating officer, Harry Gamble, who was quite instrumental in the signing of uh, Herschel Walker. Looks like the Reverend Norman Brayman. Yes, he does in that shot. As we start the fourth quarter on second down from the 48 on second and 10, Pat Beach makes the catch, takes the ball to the 45-yard line, where it'll be third down and three. And... Uh, Jerry Jones in the middle of the shot, the man in the suit and tie, the owner of the Cowboys, watching his team trailing by 10 as this fourth quarter commences. The Minister of Defense, Reggie White. He makes everyone along that defensive line just a little bit better. He and Bruce Smith just go back and forth as the who this week or this day is the most dominating defensive lineman in the game. Third down and three. Cunningham throws. He converts a first down. <laughs> Barnett was looking to pitch it to I don't know who as he's tackled by Brown. First down. Another good read by Randall Cunningham. He reads the single coverage, and you don't often get it from Dallas. They usually cover and hide their coverage really well. Get inside help or double help. He read the single coverage and got the completion. Turnovers, the big number right there. See, the Cowboys have outgained the Eagles by over 100 yards, but the turnovers have killed them. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Good protection. Perfect pass. First down. They call him Arkansas Fred out of Arkansas State. He and Calvin Williams were both drafted together two years ago when the Eagles went into the draft saying we need receivers and they actually went for Mike Bellamy as their first choice of the three and he's not with the team anymore but the other two have really paid off. But again look at the throw by Cunningham Barnett complaining that Washington delivered a blow to the head which he did. But again, it was just a pinpoint pass by Randall Cunningham. Perfect touch from the 16-yard line. Herschel. Another touchdown. There's a flag thrown in the end zone. Well after the play, it has nothing to do with the touchdown run by Walker. That's a great call. Cowboys thinking pass in a pass rush mode. They come with the draw. Herschel explodes into the end zone. Mm. Somebody rolled the big cannons out. I don't know what that is, but you can feel it.
Mark Bryant getting together with the side judge. Side judge Howard Slavin has been involved in a lot of action tonight. He's not going to rule a, a, a celebration violation, is he? We have a personal foul on number 73, Philadelphia, after the score. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. We'll assess 15 yards on the kickoff. Ron Heller raising some hell in the end zone. Yeah, this happened well after Herschel Walker behind just superior blocking takes it into the end zone. I touched on it earlier about the improved quality of play by the Eagle offensive line and it was aptly demonstrated right there. Ruzek. And the Eagles have stretched it out to 24 to 7. Like Eric Floyd, number 61, has a problem with one of his legs as he gingerly tries to make his way towards the Eagles bench. Well, I touched on it early. Are they the best team in the game? They're playing like it right now. Did you tell your boss you're quitting? No, I'm telling him on Monday. Got any plans yet? A few. No celebrity spokesman. I'm opening a restaurant. No beach volleyball games. How about another Heineken? No lengthy description of the brewing process. None of that is what made Heineken the number one imported beer in America. You got that steady paycheck? Oh, yeah. I got a few bucks put away. So you want to own a restaurant? No, what I really want to do is be a relief pitcher. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. About what? I just never thought I'd see you in anything but a BMW or a Lexus. I Me mean, neither. Airbag? Leather? This is quality. Expensive? About 10, 15,000 less than the BMW or Lexus. I think it feels just as good. <laughs> what? Oh, there's Pontiac Bonneville. It's amazing. She's trapped by terrorists. Her only hope is a cook. Oh, God, we're gonna die. Steven Seagal, Tommy Lee Jones. This is not the work of a cook. Roger that. Under Siege, rated R. Starts Friday, October 9th at a theater near you. Guess what famous motor oil is changing its bottle from white to green? Here's a little hint. Quaker State, Quaker State, Quaker State, Quaker State, Quaker State is one tough motor oil. Quaker State, same tough oil, new green bottle. Goodyear Blimp providing that rotating view from high above Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. One thing Dallas has got to be really concerned with now, they're down 24-7, and Philadelphia is not the team you want to play catch-up against. They're going to be coming on every play with the ears pinned back, playing pass all the way. Because of that penalty on Heller, the assessment on the kickoff here, thus Ruzek puts it in the air from the 20-yard line instead of the 35. And he sends that out of bounds. <laughs> and so uh, normally you, you take it at the 35 because of the penalty, then get it at the 50. Yeah, you that's a it's a costly penalty, but a it's one. Free kick out of bounds, the ball will be put in play on the 50-yard line. 30 yards in advance of the kick by rule. First down on the 50. All right, Jerry, Mark Bright. Excellent explanation. You almost forgive Heller that penalty, though, in the sense that it, you have to pay attention to how he's played tonight against Charles Haley. Haley has uh, really been a non-factor in this game tonight, and, and Ron Heller, left tackle, gets a lot of credit. He's the guy that more often than not is responsible for blocking one of the great pass rushers in the game. And Herschel Walker has picked up a lot of his yardage right over Heller. But talk about a costly penalty. Opening up a shop at the 50-yard line without even touching the football is, uh, is, is just superb field position for Dallas. First and 10, Cowboys at the 50-yard line. Smith stays in the block. Aikman throwing for Novacek. 
Did he have possession? No. Incomplete. Broken up by Eric Allen having a big night. Oh, I'll tell you, that was an absolute great play by Allen. Novacek had that football, and Allen just took it out of there. Slapped it out. They play the football collectively better than any team in the NFL, and that's why those number ones are right across there in the defensive categories. Watch Allen now. Bang, the ball. Is that gone? I think Eric Allen is showing why he's made a couple trips to Honolulu for the Pro Bowl. Probably will this year as well. Second and ten from the 50. Look out. Aikman sacked Simmons. The basic feeding frenzy. Well, that's $500 more to the Jerome Brown Foundation, the foundation created after the death of the Great Eagle tackle, and Simmons donating that amount for every sack. Single coverage as A tries to handle Simmons. They're double up on the other side against Reggie White. I think he gives some of that to, uh, there's the patch you can see on the shoulder of Reggie White, the, the new and improved, the larger patch they're wearing in honor and memory of their of their teammate. Third and 17. And Aikman is lucky that wasn't picked by Eric Allen. Who else? I might be trying the other side of the field. Well, I would think I'd look over and see if I could locate Isel Jenkins. <laughs> Boy, and you saw Andre Waters giving it to Michael Irvin. Yep. Michael Irvin uh, lives by the sword and dies by the sword. He he talks a good game when it's going his way, and if that's the way you're going to play, you better expect to get it when uh, things aren't going so well. One big reception tonight, two for the night by Irvin, and in that 24 to nothing game last September, Irvin was also held to one reception. Great job by Bud Carson, the defensive coordinator here tonight. Mike Saxon's kick. Taken by Sikahema inside the five-yard line. Well, you can do that when you lead 24 to 7, I guess. 11.39 left in the fourth. Eagles up by 17. Yo, guys, there's Yogi. You can't top no. the Pringles pop. The taste is top. Pringles? I haven't tried them in years. <laughs> Pringles taste better than these bag chips. Check it out, yo. I'll believe it when I believe it. So? I believe it. They taste better. Yeah. Observe. Bag chips feel greasy. Grease don't taste good. Taste tastes good. The taste is jazz. Won't you pop? Shirts. Beware the man who says, I'll give you the shirt off my back. Chances are it's not a docker shirt. And therefore of no great loss to him. Nor of any particular gain to you. Nobody does shirts. Like dockers. Yeah, I looked at the BMW and the Lexus. And? I drove this. The power, the handling, the control. It was incredible. Really? It's got leather, ABS, dual airbags. It's even supercharged. I could have spent a lot more on the BMW or the Lexus. But why? What is this? The new Pontiac SSEI. We are driving. Very nice. Excitement. Two teams, two crowns, one goal. The Broncos meet the Redskins next week on ABC's Monday Night Football. Well, the Hurricanes of Miami, second rank, take on the seventh-ranked Nittany Lions of Penn State at Penn State this Saturday. And in those games, on the second half of our doubleheader college football this Saturday right here on ABC, good lineup. Eagles have it from the 13. Herschel Walker with two touchdowns tonight. Can't get started this time. Robert Jones in on the tackle. Well, when you look ahead now for the Eagles, over the next two weeks, Rich Kotite takes his team to Kansas City and to Washington. 
But he'll take them in the way it looks right now with a 4-0 record. And he'll also take them in with the added baggage of a lot of people looking at his club saying, here's a team that ought to be in Pasadena. Second and 10, and Byers to the 13. It really is, when you think about the Eagles, an amazing thing. When you watched what happened last year and the way Kotai kept them together with Cunningham Hurd on opening day, and then to have an offseason in which Jerome Brown dies, and then you have Keith Jackson, regarded as the best pass-catching tight end in football, signing with another team. So there are two guys you just don't replace. Well, that became right that now 4-0. Be, it became so apparent last year. I mean, he has Jim McMahon, but McMahon is hurt more than he's healthy. Jeff Kemp is carried off the field, and yet they very nearly make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. That's the quality of the personnel on his team. Third and ten, and the catch is made on a third down reception. A flag goes down for a late hit. Williams makes the catch, and James Washington came in late. Going back to last year, I, it was a remarkable thing that Rich Kotai did when he came in and replaced mm -hmm. a very popular Buddy Ryan, at least popular with the players. And he had no problems with it. The players had none. And just on his own strength, and they got to be talking about the fact that he was able to keep this team together. Yeah, you're right, Frank. They got to be talking about the fact that nobody touched Williams on the field. And he's free to get up and run. I mean, I. <laughs> Still? <laughs> no, not now. In other words, you've got a player on the field that's. Uh, uh, I didn't see anybody touch him. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness on number 37 defense. 15 yard penalty. Late hit. First down. Well, let's see if he was touched down on the field. All right, here's the catch in the middle of no traffic. Williams is done. Oh, you can see there's Larry Brown who comes in and puts his right hand on the shoulder. By that time, though, Washington was already airborne. And out to the 40. Speaking of Jim McMahon, there he, I said to him before the game, how you doing? He said, I'm bored. <laughs> he had a little radio control car running around the carpet out here before the game. You know what he said to me, though? He said, I said, why are you doing? It? He said, real simple. I want one more ring, and this team can give it to him. Well, and what? both his elbow and shoulder operated on during the offseason, or rather elbow and knee. From the 41-yard line now, here's Walker for three. A lot of people close to this team are giving McMahon a lot of credit for Cunningham because they said last year Randall, you know, forced to watch because of the injury, and he watched the way McMahon would do things methodically and in his own very unique fashion. He did all during the rehab during the offseason. He had get the clips. He sat down with the with Luke Carpenter, Zeke Bratkowski, and go over the coverages, how McMahon would read them, how he should be reading them better. And Cunningham in the past has been so quick to jump out of that pocket. He's not doing that anymore. He's a much more mature quarterback. Second and six from the 45. Eagles up by 17. Fires into a pass of Cowboys for no gain. Robert Jones leading the charge. And we have under nine minutes to go. Jimmy Johnson next week has his team going home to face Seattle, and we move down to RFK. Always a great scene on a Monday night. Redskins with a mark of two and two hosting the AFC West leading Denver Broncos on Monday Night Football. We open our season there, what, three years ago with Denver and Washington, remember? And well, that, that was a little bit into the year. That was the night Elway got sick was out of the game. At the 45-yard line, Herschel Walker picks up a couple up to the uh, 47, and another create a fourth down. And Gary Kubiak had to come in off mm -hmm. the bench and lead him to a win. Denver, of course, on top of the AFC West. Somebody said it uh, rather succinctly that Denver is the best, worst team in the league. <laughs> well, they're 4-1, and one and what, have allowed more points than they have scored. Try that on for a side of it. They've scored 70 and allowed 75, and yet they're uh, four and one. Well, that one, that one, whoa, right here, 30, nothing, and it wasn't that close. 
Jeff Eagles had to move to his right to accept the snap. It is fielded at the nine-yard line by Kelvin Martin, and he's buried at the 12. Early celebration for Mark McMillan, a rookie from Alabama. His moment in the sun for Boone, 24-7. Until now, some thought imported luxury sedans possessed a higher level of engineering. But change is on the horizon. Introducing the 1993 Cadillac Seville STS with the North Star system. At its heart, a 295 horsepower North Star V8. So advanced, its first scheduled tune-up is 100,000 miles. The Cadillac Seville STS with the North Star system. Changing the way you think about American automobiles. One of these engines was filled with Castro Syntec, a new synthetic oil. The rest with conventional oils. They were then drained and started without oil to prove a point. You see Syntec's unique molecular structure bonds to engine parts. That tests show it leaves a layer of protection far stronger than conventional oil. And if Syntec protects this well now, imagine if you leave it in. Castro Syntec protects in ways other oils can't. The Postal Service would like to present two-day priority mail. That's delivery in just two days of up to two pounds for just $2.90. Two! Remember. Two! Two days. Two! Two pounds. Two! Two ninety. Two! 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 Two-day priority mail from your Postal Service. We deliver for you. For pickup service, call 1-800-222-1811. We'll take you where no one else dares. Put that instrument away. I won't. There's something going on between you and me. Civil Wars. It only looks like television Wednesday. So, Dan, what do you think? Answer that question. Eagles best team in the league right now? I think so. I mean, I think they're the most complete team offensively, defensively. Uh, the improvement of their special teams. And of all the things that Randall Cunningham has accomplished tonight, I'm not so sure the most important was the way he took a tremendous shot on his knee and came back into the game. And they keep on smoking as Reggie White gets the sack oh. back at the five-yard line. And on the other side of the field, though, Jimmy Johnson, I said to us last night, he said, we'll be there. I don't know whether we'll win the game or not. We will play well. Uh, if they are playing well, then there's no question that this little Eagle team is the best in the league. Because this is a good football team, the Dallas Cowboys, the youngest team in the league, and they're going to get nothing but better. The Reggie Chan after that sack. Here's Emmett Smith. Up to the 16-yard line. And a flag is down. Reggie Holy White Dallas. is one of the reasons, I think, that this Eagle team has some of the urgency that they have. Because Reggie's the first to say that I am not a young man. And my years in the National Football League are, are limited. I can see the Holy end of the road. Number 63, offense, half the distance to the goal. And I Second want down. to get there, and I want to get there this year. And he's very upfront in saying, now is the time. Not next year, not the year after, now. Well, it's a, it's a mature defensive unit at Philadelphia. you got the two yeah. safeties, Hopkins and Waters, each in their ninth year. Reggie moving along. They should be in their very prime right now. And they're playing like it. Second and 20, and this play is dead before it starts. I think they may have had a delay a game as well. well either false start yeah. or delay. It had to be one or the other. Mm -hmm. That's what Jerry said. He, he questioned the headlines and false start, he said. False start. Number 66, mm -hmm. offense, half the distance to the goal, prior to the snap, second down. Those are the things that uh, really are not even recorded. They're caused by a defensive unit that gets you, I mean, they're so disruptive. There's Gogan there on the left. Trying left to get to the outside, side. trying to get position. Second and 22 now. From the one, 6:47 to go, oh, and we've got another false start. Well, the good news is they can only mark it off a half a yard. It's only about a foot. This one. False start, number 79, offense. Well, on this series, we've had the snap. 
Penalty on Gisek. Half the distance to the goal, second down. A penalty on Gogan and a penalty on Eric Williams. He's just moving down the line. All the way to your right. And you've got to you've got to give an assist to the crowd here at the vet. They came to make noise and they are making noise and I think it's obvious right now the Cowboys on the offensive line are having trouble hearing the snap. You know to the last seven quarters they've given up one touchdown to the Eagles defense against Denver and the Cowboys. This is a this is an ugly place to be if you're an offensive line. Second and twenty two. And just to give him breathing room, that's Daryl Johnston's first carry as he takes it out to the three yard line. Aikman's face reflecting the kind of night it's been. Hmm. Joyner putting it to Eric Williams. You know, the, the Cowboys, a young team, Frank mentioning a team that figures to get better. Maybe they'll be fresher in the second half of the season. But it, interestingly, this year to this point, they've outscored the opposition 64 to 17 in the first half. In the second half, they've been outscored 41 to 24. And tonight, another case in point. Aikman's throw, and that's dropped by Novacek. So true, Al. They had a 34 to nothing lead over the Giants into the third quarter and the Giants came back and almost pulled that out 34 28 and Novacek making a one handed grab for that ball that ball was very catchable and Jay Novacek who missed all of training camp and a contract holdout has not had a real strong start to his 1992 season and has dropped a couple passes Saturday. tonight as well. Very careful that he doesn't step out of the back of the end zone. That's a two pointer if you do. Mike Saxon, they've got both Sikahemer and the rookie Jeff Seidner from Hawaii back to receive. And Sikahemer returns the kick to the 34 yard line. The tackle is made by Tommy Agee. Five thirty four remaining in the fourth quarter. And I find it interesting of this as you see Saxon being very careful with it there that the teams, the six teams that beat the Eagles a year ago, they averaged oh, nine oh. completions and 110 yards, but they didn't turn it over. What is Saxon doing? Well, that was Saran Stacy giving him a Saran wrap. Look at that. It's an Academy oh. Award. <laughs> nice try, Mike. Yep. <laughs> First down at the 34 yard line. Herschel. You know, the one thing about Walker, a lot of people questioned his heart and his willingness to play the game in the last year and a half in Minnesota, and it really, it really ate at him. And uh, for Walker, who's not a, a real outwardly effusive guy, but a, a very proud man, this has to be a wonderful night. I don't think there are any more questions. And he's handled it so well, too, as we said earlier. They weren't getting any quotes out of Herschel Walker over the past two weeks as they got ready for Dallas. Walker, 18 carries for 77 yards, and now they give it to Byers, and he moves ahead of the 29 yard line. Just before the game started today, I, or tonight, I watched as Jimmy Johnson looked around and really searched out Herschel Walker walked over put his arm around him a, a big hug by both of them and Walker has handled this situation so graciously and and he might have put both of these teams in the Super Bowl obviously not the same one but down the line it could certainly happen mm -hmm. third and four at the 28 yard line. Cunningham throwing for Walker. And a first down. There's a big time step arm. What did Rich Kotite say about him? He was stunned how strong he is. Well, Larry Brown just found out. <laughs> These two had a confrontation earlier where Brown was making the tackle on Walker. This time he does not. Oh. Hmm. Goodbye. 
First and 10 at the 20. And Rich Kotite on the sidelines. Nice guys can finish first. Oh. Walker again. Boy, isn't it, isn't it, uh, there's uh, Washington just venting his frustration. Well, and it takes something to get a rise out of Herschel. Yeah. Isn't it ironic, though, that a lot of fans were upset when the Eagles didn't make a big play for James Brooks, and Cleveland got him after Cincinnati let him go, and Brooks, of course, was let go by Cleveland and picked up by Tampa Bay, and a lot of people question the acquisition of Walker. And it was all Richie Kotite and Harry Gamble. Mm -hmm. The two of them took full responsibility for it. Yep. And right now, it appears they should take full credit. Second down and two. Myers. Touchdown. Talk so much about Walker. There's a great football player. The subordinated. There we got a, a lot of opportunities. And now the frustration yeah, starts here. to come out again. Keith Myers over the past couple of years has had to play in a lot of situations and positions that he wasn't terribly fond of but they call him the all of a team player he'll play tight end he'll play the slot for you he'll play running back and a great player indeed at all positions <laughs> nope. nope none whatsoever <laughs> they do not want to play catch up with Philadelphia Bruzek, 31-7. These two teams go at it again November 1st in Irving. Richie Kotite said, I must have improvement in two areas, special teams and the play of my offensive line. So far this season, he has seen dramatic improvement in both but nowhere more so than what he's gotten out of his offensive line. Keith Byers went into the end zone without a Dallas Cowboy making a serious bid to tackle him. As a matter of fact, I don't believe he was even touched. In flag football, mm. that would have been a touchdown. This is the first time since 1980 the Eagles have scored four rushing touchdowns in a game. There's that offensive line and a Great improvement by Antone Davis, the big first round draft pick over right tackle from a year ago. They gave up two number ones to acquire him, and he was helpless and hopeless for much of the beginning of last year. He settled down, came in, lost worked some during the offseason, lost a little bit of weight, and has turned into an excellent, certainly an excellent run blocking tackle, and he is improving as a pass blocker. It's a tight old jersey he's got on yeah. there. That's the biggest they've got. You could take the numbers off that thing and show a drive in movie on it. <laughs> Wide screen. Put a swing set down in front of there. <laughs> You'd have some. Short kick taken at the 15 yard line by Martin. Didn't you love it all the time? Didn't you love it with the, the dancing hot dogs and stuff telling you to go up to the concession stand? <laughs> <laughs> Mark McCullough the had that last tackle. <laughs> Singing pickles. <laughs> Cowboys tonight in the second half. And remember, they were down by only three at halftime. The first half makes those punts look pretty good. Yeah. The interception, the fumble, and two punts in a second half that's been owned by the Eagles. A lot of Denver Broncos looking on and kind of sitting back. Say we understand. Oh, you better believe it, Frank. A lot of Kansas City Chiefs looking on too, as they get both these teams over the next two weeks. It was a uh, penalty on the run back, takes it back to the 11-yard line. Philadelphia has Kansas City next week, right? Yep. At KC, and then the Chiefs go to Dallas. Mm -hmm. You saw the smiling Walker on the Philadelphia sideline. Cowboys from the 11, first and 10. Let the Eagles go Kansas City, Washington. And this is Tommy Agee. 
Out to the 21-yard line. Well, the Eagles, among other things, took Emmett Smith out of the game tonight. And if if the Cowboys can't get a big game out of Emmett Smith, they're not gonna they're not gonna beat a team like Philadelphia. There's no chance. They took the leading rusher out from a year ago, and they took the leading receiver in terms of yardage, Michael Irvin, right out of this football game. And it's just another game in which they've taken Smith out of it. You know, it's, I guess it's really strange that in the same division as the defending Super Bowl champions that we are talking about Philadelphia in such glowing terms. But if you really compare the two teams right now, there is no comparison. The Redskins are not playing like defending Super Bowl. Well, maybe they are playing like defending Super Bowl champions. More often than not, we've seen a, a fade by the defending champs. But if you are just looking at the first week of October and who is on it and who's off of it right now the Eagles are on it and the Redskins are off of it. Well you're looking at Emmett Smith you know it's one of those goofy statistics that needs an asterisk when they tell you that a team is 20 and 0 which they are when he carries the ball 18 or more times a lot of that has to do with getting the lead and sitting on it. But tonight it's a bit relevant in the sense that he's carried it 18 times and they're getting killed. So they'll be 20 and 1 and it's a resounding one. And that'll take us to the two minute warning close to a first down. And they'll celebrate into the night in the city of brotherly love where they love the Eagles and they lead by 24. Until now some thought high maintenance was an unavoidable expense of high performance. Change is in sight. Introducing the North Star system by Cadillac with a 295 horsepower V8 engine so advanced its first scheduled tune-up is 100,000 miles. So while others promise the world, Cadillac gives you the equivalent of a trip around it four times over. The North Star system by Cadillac, changing the way you think about American automobiles. Who are you going to call the most this month? Most. Good question. Isabel. With Sprint's new program, The Most, first, you get 20% off whoever you call the most each month. Second, you get 20% off calls to any of the millions of other Sprint customers automatically. A special announcement from Sprint. An independent consumer group has announced that of unrestricted plans, The Most from Sprint often offers the best savings with the fewest restrictions. Affordable Canon CJ10. The power of color is yours. Get the power! Imagine a rent a car company that offers special delivery right to your door. That's Enterprise. Here, let me help you. Enterprise, a special rent a car company that gives you special delivery. Well, when you come to Philadelphia, I mean, you got to have a cheesesteak. When you see this guy whipping it together, you'll know why. Yeah, I like to have the lobster Whoa. as big as Dan's. <laughs> well, I mean, that was the biggest lobster I've ever seen. Well, Munch it on last night. A lobster's not worth eating unless they bring it to your table on a leash. <laughs> a cheesesteak in Philly. Mm. He's just trying to gear up for a Slim Fast commercial <laughs> down the line. Well, fourth and inches. You can't eat it, at least look at it. Yes. Dallas going for it. And they pick up the first down, so they'll maintain possession for what it's worth in the game that is over. 31 to 7, the Eagles on top. I think we're in one of those rare situations where both teams are trying to run the clock out. Well, we talked about the, the irony tonight and Herschel Walker and his move from Dallas through Minnesota here. Rich Kotite and what a game like tonight means to the Eagles and this, I think back to Rich Kotai taking over for Buddy Ryan when Ryan gets fired as Aikman on first down retreats and hits Irvin he's out of bounds at the 48 when Ryan got fired Richie was on Buddy's staff and Kotai had left New York when Joe Walton was fired the year before he gets the call to go upstairs as they say and he thinks he's going to get fired along with Ryan mm -hmm. and instead they offer him the job. And he actually is is told to hang around. Uh, mm -hmm. Would you like to interview? Yep. And lo and behold, yep. before he knew it, he was the uh, the new guy. And as it turned out, 
or as it's turning out, appears to be the perfect choice. Mm -hmm. He has been a real calming influence in what was a very turbulent situation here in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. At the rich toe tied, it worked out well that Bud Carson was relieved of his duties at Cleveland. Another sack. Yep. Kind of a typical way for an Eagle game to end is Reggie White comes in and that's four sacks tonight for Philadelphia. It's called fatten up the Pro Bowl numbers. Reggie White would go to the Pro Bowl if he brushed the quarterback on his hands and knees. <laughs> that's pretty strong when you just yank a guy down between the thumb and forefinger. It was <laughs> Through his career, he's averaged about a sack a game as Alfredo Roberts makes the catch here. I'd like to get pinched by Reggie White. He hauled down <laughs> Troy Aikman with his thumb and a forefinger. More importantly, he just throws that double coverage all the time. The rest of that defensive line gets single blocking against them. Tommy Agee with a catch. Saw that graphic. Four sacks, four turnovers. Well. We stated at the very beginning tonight, not a question of if for the Cowboys, they're going to get to the top. The question is when, and the answer is not yet. Not tonight, at least. And the Eagles, I think, leave the vet this evening crowned the early October Super Bowl favorites. Tune Irving. in next month. Or next week, for that matter. Yep. Urban Panthers. That's an, and the Eagles do it on a night when you know Randall for for Randall Cunningham, a very average night. In fact, below average for him. The big story again: the turnovers, as always with the Eagles. Randall with uh, well, you know, attempts into uh, you, di you divide the yards by attempts, and it's only uh, about six yards per attempt. We mentioned it from time to time. Seven's about average. Eight is very good. Nine's excellent. He had a big cushion coming in. A quarterback rating over 140. Tended for Roberts. Broken up by Otis Smith. This is where the Cowboy offensive linemen go. Oh goody. Two seconds left yeah. in the game. <laughs> I get the pass block. Reggie White and Clyde Simmons one more time. <laughs> How lucky can a guy get? Oh, they're going to try a field goal. <laughs> well, maybe they just find out how far the rookie can kick it. He yeah, 52 yards as a collegian. 48 yard attempt. Ooh. <laughs> there might be a few people pretty interested in this kick, and you know what I mean. It's wide. Uh, <laughs> it was wide and under. <laughs> it was. It was. Yes, it was certainly. It was right on. I think it was. I believe the ONU was 38 tonight. Pitch mm. Cotide, what a great job he has done. And Jimmy Johnson, you've built yourself one for the future. And we'll be seeing a lot of that young man, Troy Aikman. That was a push to the right, you might say. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Oh, oh wow. Of what do you speak? <laughs> Give us some good news you can go off with. Well, big night for the Eagles. They won it 31-7 on disputed possession of first. Talk to you next week from Washington. Now Michael Franka for Dan Deirdre. Good night from Philadelphia. Saturday, an ABC College football doubleheader kicks off with a national showdown as the number two Miami Hurricanes invade undefeated Penn State. Then regional action follows as Cal takes on number one ranked Washington. Number three Michigan hosts Michigan State, Oklahoma meets Texas, or Clemson tackles Virginia. Now except on the West Coast, stay tuned for your late local news and ABC News Nightline over most of these ABC stations. ABC's NFL Monday Night Football has been brought to you by Cadillac, changing the way you think about American automobiles. By Aetna, a policy to do more. By Valvoline, people who know, use Valvoline. And by two-day priority mail service from your post office.